и говорит. But I'm stronger than then. Oh, enough is enough. No more walking around with my head down. I'm so tired of being blue, crying over you. And I'm so sick of love song, songs and witches. So. Yo. The way just do, just do, he just smooth, bringing much news with the facts when he crush fools. I'm rough school, I bust moves like crush groove. Pass me the mic and I'll turn it into lunch food. Just cool, but talk slick and he'll punch dudes. Cowards get the message and they hush like thugs do. You can bring your whole bus crew plus two. T-Dub T is astronomical, you comical. You a fool if you think we'll ever honor you. The mother channels ain't shit, no abdominal. This the face of new media, you fuck a Donahue. You see my giant crew, we shine like a diamond dude. If any trolls disrespect, yo, we finding you. We all surrounded you, it ain't no reminding you. He already does surpass what you trying to do. So quit the fake smoke, you suckers better take notes. When you step into the chat, you better wipe your feet. Hit the like and keep your comments short and sweet. My homie just not a joke, you don't want no war. Plus the deep fox and IQ, you don't want to spar. He broadcast it from Jerry, so he's straight. Put you deep in the dirt, that's why they call this the garden state. You seem tough, but not a threat like a garden snake. We not scared of you, we chopping off a head or two. Mark your calendar, remember what we said to you. It's no option, it's just do boxing. Mark your calendar, remember what I'm telling you. It's no option, it's just do boxing. Word them up. T-Dub T, we in a spot. L-D-B-C strong. What's good, family? What's going on with y'all? Back again, man, as promised. Back to have another boxing conversation, man. It's always something to talk about in this sport. As things heat up, it's, it's getting fun. It's getting fun saying Hitchens and Haney talk, talk slick to each other. It's fun. This is entertaining. This is what I love, the sport for, the trash talk, and I love it. Sports matchups, D free, my brother. What's good with it, D free? DP Rocker, MP, my bro. Good. How y'all bros feeling? Ashley's Corner, salute to the clan. What's going on, cuzzo? How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping back through. Appreciate all y'all pulling back up for this cook. Yes, sir, man. What's good with my bro, Mr. PSA, Crush the Legend? What's good? Josh, my bro, BC. What's good with it, bro? Force Callum Smith out his light heavyweight clash with Powell Steve at MS Bank, Liverpool. Yeah, so now the um main event is Diego uh Pacheco, I believe. If that's the card you're talking about, right? Adolfo, salute to Adolfo. Appreciate you pulling up, bro. How you feeling? What's good with it, BC? Jose Diaz, what's good, fam? How y'all feeling, man? Appreciate all y'all pulling back up for the second time around. Salute to everybody in the building. You know what I mean? We ain't stopping. We grinding, man. We grinding. Yeah, yeah. My boy Squid is back. You know, Thrill Hill, what's good with it, bro? You hear them vocal skills, Mr. New Orleans in the flesh, my brody. What's good? Who 
we're getting to it man my boy feeling good you know what i mean that herbal tea did him right man he back making guest appearances singing his number one smash hit single you know what i mean what's good with it five appreciate you pulling up my bro pulling back up appreciate all y'all Agus Chavez. salute to you brody jersey in the building man salute our uh, west salute family how you feeling brody Optimum LD TV, what's good, fam? How you feeling? Blessings to you, Brody. Tay Tay, the queen of MMA combat, what's good, bro? How y'all good folks feeling, man? How y'all good folks feeling? A1 Hoop Zone, my brother. What's good with it, A1? Salute to everybody in the building. Miss Joe S. Salute Queen. Appreciate you stopping through. How you feeling? Yes, sir, man. Appreciate all y'all pulling back up. Like I said, we're gonna cook for a little bit. Delfo was good. Yeah, okay. Miss Pacheco is the main event now. Mega Red Salute family. How you feeling? Appreciate you pulling up. What's good with y'all good people, man? How y'all feeling? Y'all enjoying y'all day? Is everybody smashing the like button? Punch that like button one time for me. Then the opportunity becomes all our first champion. Victory unbeaten, WBC number nine, middleweight. Mill car, Petty, Vidal. It's hard work. I just salute to Adolfo. Always dropping some info, man. Appreciate you, bro. Jay Reddy, what's good with a fan? Appreciate you pulling up. Got to go back. Oh, okay. Keep ringing. Salute to everybody in the building. How y'all feeling, man? Salute to the family. But yeah, man, as things, as things heat up, as 140 continue to be interesting, one of the more interesting divisions in boxing right now. And they, you know, I, I, I like I said, like I told y'all, I'm going um, to keep y'all posted on, on, on things as, as they materialize in this division. And, you know, I like the trash talking between Devin Haney and um, I like the trash talking between him and Hitchens, man. I think this right here is, a, a, I know he's not here yet. He's not in the, the division yet. But it's still, you know, just looking ahead, this would be no doubt would be a hell of a chess match. It'd be a fight worth all our time, and it'd damn sure deliver, man. You know, these dudes been going back and forth a little bit. There you go, they tweet pretty much. And this was from, remember I told y'all, a, a, a fan tweeted, you know, who's the better fighter, Devin Haney or Richardson Hitchens? And Hitchens said, I'm the better fighter. And this resulted in, you know, Devin Haney having some 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 very choice words for the young man. Ain't Trevon sleep bad answers that people take training with. Uh, Fate was good with it, bro. Appreciate you pulling out. How you feeling? Salute to the family in the building. Y'all smash that like button, man. Y'all smash, just smash A, smash A, the like button, smash A, you know what I'm saying? When I'm through, you get fancy, you just smash A, the like button, the like button, you know? But, um, yeah, so Richardson Hitchens, you know, he he responded to the fan. He said he's the better fighter, you know? Devin Haney caught wind of that. It took him a little while, and he, he responded, how many belts you got? Better fighter, go prove yourself and get off my, you know? He said, you keep mentioning me, and I'm not even in your weight class yet. You were jealous, you know. He called him a, you know. He say he's jealous, but you know, um, this is this is where the uh confusion come in at, right? It be fans mentioning and bringing up Devin Haney and Richardson Hitchens like, like a real fighter. He just supposed to respond. He ain't supposed to tuck his tail. You know what I mean? He see it, he gonna he jump right on it. I, I like the energy. You get what I'm saying? It's not. I don't think he just sitting up bringing up Devin Haney for no reason. Like I said, it's the fans doing it because they know that'd be a damn good fight. They seen the work uh, Richardson Hitchens did to John Bowser. You know what I'm saying? They seen how John Bowser did Michael Williams Jr. So, you know what I mean? There's no doubt. Like, he's on his way to 140. And it ain't going to be too long before he get there. You get what I'm saying? And I know this is just looking a bit ahead. But tell me, would this be one of the best fights to make at 140? Devin Haney can box his ass or he can box with the best of them. And Richardson Hitchens can box. So, that's 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 must see TV right there. That's that is a hell of a chess match right there. Them two dudes that deliver, I no doubt in my mind. Y'all punch that like button one time for me. one time. 
smash shade the like button. My bad, it's smash shade. I'm fancy, y'all. Smash shade the like button. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, fate fate always on point. Uh, BC, he always do it, bro. He always come through. A bunch of fighters, two ladies, six men from Brazil. Cuba, he doesn't care. Really humble person. Salute to uh, Jose Diaz, man. We got dad, bro. Zay, I feel you, man. Look, this is why we had these conversations because it's fun. It's like you can pick whoever, and, and uh, you ain't crazy if you say you got dad. If you dig what I'm saying? You talking to just do? I I pay attention. Dave Haney is one of them ones. He can fight his ass off. You know what I'm saying? But, man, Richardson Hitchens got a bag on him, man. He got a set of tools, man. He got a set of tools on him, man. He got a nice set of tools in that bag. And that's why I say it'd be a fun fight to watch. It'd be highly entertaining the entire time. I don't see a knockout happening in that fight. No doubt in my mind it'd deliver. Like, those two dudes are put on for real, for real, because that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Hitchens responded, too. He wasn't short on his words either. So, you know, he called him a choke child, man. Choke child, he said, jealous of what? Anything you've done in boxing, I could have done as a prospect. Whoever you beat, I would have violated for your information. Yep, get brung up to me. I'll whoop on you any day and, and wait, big nose. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, see, see, that's what Richardson Hitchens is saying. He's like, I'm not bringing you up. People are bringing you up to me. And why they're bringing them up? Because, again, you got Devin Haney haters. You got some detractors out there. But then you got some 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 true diehards and supporters of the sport like us, right? And we just know that it'll be a good fight, despite who will win. We really don't have a dog in the race. Nobody's rooting for Dev Haney to get beat up by Richardson Hitchens. I ain't. But I tell you what, this would be a damn good fight. I don't care who win. Man, we get our money's worth. You get what I'm saying? We'll really get our money's worth. Tell me we won't get it. You know what I mean? Tell me we won't get our money's worth. You know what I'm saying? We get our money's worth, bro. I love to see it. And this could be a potential future fight. I don't see why it can't happen. A lot of times we get caught up in the bigger names of the division and we forget that it's some guys that have really bring some smoke. And I feel like Hitchens is one of them. You know what I'm saying? Hitchens is one of them dudes, man. I ain't picking against Dev to just lose. You know what I mean? I'm just picking. I'm just advocating for, for the fight to happen in due time because I feel like it'd be a damn good fight. You got Richardson Hitchens beat Devin Haney. I ain't mad at that because, look, he got a hell of a bag to me, yo. Mm-hmm. Right, Jose. Right, five. You know what I mean? The sport is only going to get better, like Jose said. And I love the energy, five. I love it. And, again, you know, they they it's for us not to take anything they saying to each other personal because it's entertainment and they fighters and competitors. They supposed to talk like this, man. They supposed to talk like this, but I guarantee this is this is why this is fun because I don't look at Dev Haney as a guy that's gonna duck smoke. I don't look at Richardson Hitchens as a guy that's gonna duck smoke. So they trash talking is entertaining because it damn well could lead up to a fight. He said Dev getting sensitive. He ain't like that. <laughs> he ain't like that talk. Mike Big Boxing, what's good with it, Brody? Appreciate you pulling back up. Salute to everybody in the building. Y'all punch the like button. Y'all smash a the like button, man. For the second cook, man, I appreciate all y'all, man. I'm in grind mode heavily. Ricky Williams, my Brody, what's good? What he said? Nah, Hitchens lose this one. He said Hitchens lose this one. I ain't mad at my bro, Rick. I, I know you see something, you know? Yeah, I ain't mad at you, man. Again, I like to bring these conversations to y'all because I like to know what the people think. Johnny Q, my bro. Pulling back up. Salute to you, bro. Appreciate you, man. That was a Scorpio. He's been since the young man gets busy, bro. Yeah. Right, right, right. Salute to Jay Reddy. Right, right. We're praying for it, right? And this one, this one, Jose, we might not have to pray too hard for it. You get what I'm saying? Because we do know he will be up there in due time. And I don't think Hitchens going nowhere no time soon. So, you know, it's just a fun fight. It's a fun fight for us. It's something to look forward to. You know what I'm saying? You think Dev will outclass him badly? I don't know, man. I, I really think this is a real 50-50 to me. I love to see it. I love to see it. You know, I'm not going to tell nobody wrong. You know, I don't do that. I hear you, and I understand where you're coming from because I, I, I know the skill that Dev Haney possessed. But, man, this would be a very entertaining fight. It would be a fun chess match, a fun chess match. Guys that don't pack a ton of power but but obviously can get your respect. You get what I'm saying? It would be a chess match that we need to see, yo. It would it, be fun, man. It'd be real fun for us, y'all. It'd be a nice little treat. Why <laughs> Devin ain't let him call him big? 
<laughs> right. And where the big nose uh one come from? Where he just he just tossed that in there. <laughs> Devin Clint, Devin outclassing Hitchens. I don't see it acting like Hitchens ain't smart fighter and got size two and power. Listen, that's gonna be a damn good fight. For, for real, for real. Whoever wins, you know. We win at the end of the day when we get these type of matchups. You get what I'm saying? And y'all know I'm an advocate for that. I know. I know. It's all entertainment. It's supposed to be fun, y'all. You're supposed to enjoy this. If y'all think Dev Haney beat his ass, let me know. Let your boy just know it's all good. I'm not going to tell y'all. Nah, it just beats his ass. No. Nah. nah, man. This is why we had these conversations. This is a damn good fight. It'll be entertaining as hell, man. I'm telling you, chess match. Remember to tell Hitchens the castle if it's the chess match. <laughs> this guy where he at ain't going nowhere else. I feel you. I, I like Hitchens though. I think he's gonna be around. I do. I got I believe in him. I believe in his skill set. You know what I'm saying? I believe in his skill set. I think he's a smart young fighter now. How good he will be, you know, just like any of these guys remains to be seen. But I I think he I think he's gonna hold his own at 140. It's gonna be fun to watch him. Kello, salute fan. Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling? Made to dead moves in 140. Hopefully to fight more often. Yeah, man. Right, right, right. 817. What's good with the family? Yes, sir, man. Some hot talk. And I just like it, man. It's entertaining. You know, I'm a state posted to it. I told y'all that when I first brought this up, it was just Richardson Hitchens saying he the better fighter. Dev Haney ain't catch wind of it yet. He ain't respond. But after he caught wind, he responded and he wasn't he wasn't feeling it you know what i mean dead wasn't feeling it dead wasn't feeling it i got dead over everybody except core and tank oh, that's 50 50 in my opinion i ain't mad at that bro i ain't mad at that it's fun but i tell you what i think hitchens would be a better fight than people think 50 50 right man I, I'm, I'm calling this a 50 50 matchup i think hitchens is that good i do Think he disciplined, he's very technically sound. I believe he pick it. He got he got a good uh shots punch selection as well. Um, I like the way in particular I, now I get it. Listen, Dev Haney ain't no damn John Bowser, so I understand that completely, y'all. Completely salute to 817. How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping back though. I get that, right? I know he ain't no John Bowser at all. You get what I'm saying? But uh if right now, right, if they were to fight each other right now. They will be the best fighter, in my opinion, that both guys got in the ring with. Is that fair to say? I think that's fair to say. You get what I'm saying? I think if they was to fight right now, as it stands, they they they'd be the best fighter each other got in there with. You know what I'm saying? As as of right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Right. Right, man. Right. That wins surprisingly easy. I feel you, skills. I feel you. I ain't mad at it, bro. I ain't mad at it. I definitely just, I don't think Hitch, Hitchens goes easy because of the skill set. I mean, that, the controlling distance and range, the way he did in that last fight, being the boss in there, that shot selection, man. Them uppercuts that he was slipping in there. It'll be a fun fight to watch, y'all. Make no mistake about it. Fight with Dev ain't outclassing him like that. I'm with you, Fate. I don't think it's an outclassing like that at all. I just don't. Uh, I mean, the, the gap in skill level is not that wide to me at all you know what i'm saying it still remains to be seen i feel like any guy could win on the night you know punishment for talking about that so i'm chilling at the moment <laughs> you got dev i ain't mad at that dev is, is is very disciplined very skilled individuals very smart fighter i ain't mad at nobody that got dev i ain't make a pick yet but i know it'd be a good fight that's what i do know you know what i'm saying i do know Shade girl, salute queen. How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping through. You got Haney, to be honest. I ain't mad at that. I mean, you've seen more of Haney. You get what I'm saying? You've seen Haney do it more times. You get what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. You get what I'm saying? Some people just start seeing Hitchens, right? So I ain't mad at it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he not. I think he I think he is that. Yo, I, how good, Rick? I don't want to jump the gun. But I think we got a pretty damn good fighter in Richardson Hitchens is what I'm saying. Would he beat Devin Haney? I'm not going to jump out the window just yet and say it. I'm not going to pick it, but I'm definitely going to have a conversation with y'all. I know this would be a fun fight. It would be a tactical fight. And I feel like on the night, any any either of the fighters could win. You know what I'm saying? It would it, be fun, man. It would be fun. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. How is it Richards and Hitchens jealous of Devin Haney? Wasn't jealous of Tank. Right, right. 
right? I don't think it'd be jealousy, you know. I think that's just something that dad feels, you know. He I, I respect it. I don't think it's jealousy. I think it's Richardson Hitchens just responding like a, a fighter. Cause I don't think he thinks less of um Devin Haney. I think he knows the skill set, but he just feel like he's better than him. And he's supposed to feel like that. You get what I'm saying? Anything less than what he's saying, I I question if he really feel like he could he could he could uh you know beat him. You know what I'm saying? I just put my account in timeout for instant, bro. They deleted my Jake Paul post. I think they reported it. Jake Paul posted him losing. It's getting deleted. That's wild. I wonder why. Maybe you had to tag somebody or something. I don't know. It wasn't that the zone. I'd be right, too. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's jealous of Tank Tank talking like he got all the hardware. It, the only thing with that is, he, I, don't, it, I don't think it, it bothers him about the belts. You get what I'm saying? I think, especially the way his. He's been conditioned to think. I don't think he cares, but I respect the hell out of all these dudes. Aisha, salute clean. Appreciate you stopping through. How you feeling? He'll say, listen to this. Here, so I have a discussion with my son about the three young kings, and he said that Devin Haney beats Tank and Shakur. Nine rounds of three. Wow. Wow, Brody, boo, but yeah, man, that's big, that's big talk right there, man. I'm gonna drop the link just in case y'all wanna come up and cook. Y'all smash that like button for me, man. I punch that like button. You think he is either, we don't know. I feel you, I feel that. I was just internet personality, bro. He did, he gonna give it up. Y'all gonna see if it happens. Right, right, I'm with you, Rick, I'm, I'm with you. I know you're a tough critic of uh, uh, Hitchens anyway, and I ain't mad at it, you know what I mean? But I think he, you know, get. I know I understand the opponent he was in front of, but I think he pitched a damn good fight in his last out, and I like it. You know what I mean? But I do respect the hell out of both guys, and they still said I think they both smart fighters. Even if they ever pull it off, I just, you know what I mean? I believe in both of them, and I like, I like the energy. I don't see these dudes as ducks. That's why I appreciate them going back and forth. You feel me? That's all I try to be is fair. You know what I mean? Because I really do rock with both of these dudes, and I wouldn't be rooting against neither one if they was to fight. Boots versus Ooh guys next, huh? Yeah, and speaking of Boots, he will not be on the Tank Davis undercard. They saying Boots, Boots Ennis will not be on the Tank Davis undercard, but uh, I know um, Kid Austin, Kid Austin will be on the Tank Davis undercard. So I do like how they keeping him busy. And I wanted to ask y'all something. The average someone, what's good with the family? How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping through, bro. Y'all think, yo, y'all think maybe tanking, uh, 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 Ryan might maybe open the, the gates for more fights to be to happen now that they, you know, making this fight happen on the 22nd. You know what I'm saying, fight tank versus Ryan is uh, right, right, right. It's crazy, right, Rick? It's really crazy. It's crazy when you sit there and think about it, right? It really is. And I think it's gonna come together very well, yo. You just gonna have to respect these dudes. For stepping in that ring, making this fight happen right now, like it, it's it's that's pressure, man. That's pressure for uh for Ryan, man. And I respect him for being all in on it. I have Hitchens, but yeah, yeah, right. I think so too. I think he'd call yeah, it'd be problematic, man, because he's a damn good fighter. Yeah, yeah, man. Ugas will lose the boots, right? Right, yeah. Uga, I think boots would be too much for him. I feel you, Rick. The reason why I give Dev Bell's validation because I feel like of how he moves, right? I feel like he's a champion to me. I don't want to call him no diva. I don't think Dev is a diva, none of that. And I feel like as long as when you get the belts, you move like a champion is supposed to move, I can respect the hell out of you and the belts. You get the belts a lot of value. So I think that's the case with Dev Haney. And as long as he continue to move correctly and, get, and fight the right fights, he, gonna re he should be respected as a champion unless he moved like a diva. Then that's another story. But as it stands, I haven't seen him do it. He wants smoke with Loma. He wanted to defend his belts against Loma. I'm all in on that fight. I want to see him scout Loma and keep his keep it pushing. Because nobody wants to fight him or the boogeyman in division. You should fight whoever that wants to fight you. Regis, I expect Regis versus Matias to happen. Absolutely a million percent, Ash. And Matias is a champion, so it's absolutely no excuse not to fight him. You know what I mean? That's crazy. That's crazy fate. I don't know why. Said he tripping. I feel you, Crush. The ring does not lie. That's the real answer, right? True indeed. I keep leaving Frank out. And Frank and Dad is 50 52, right? True indeed. True indeed. I think Ugas too much for boots, right? Uh, no, nah, I think I think Ugas will get wrecked bad. I think because it's stylistically, like he'll be there for boots and boots gonna figure it out. You get what I'm saying? Boots won't really have to 
find Ugas and go searching for him. And the thing is, Ugas will fight back. Ah, uh, yeah, a couple whispers on it. Right, right. Salute, salute, salute to Adele for always dropping some info, man. Bruce going to be his own main event. Right. That's what they saying he want to do, and I ain't mad at that either. Crush, he deserve it, right? You know what I'm saying? You feel me, Johnny Q? You know what I mean? Possibly shout out. You get what I'm saying? Uh, uh, five. five. Shout out to them brothers, man. Shout out to them young kings for making it happen, man. I got much respect for Ryan for stepping in there and making this happen. Right. Ooh, guys, yeah. Ooh, guys. Ooh, guys willing to fight everybody, bro. That was a champ, especially the way he collected. Supposed to manufacture way via Canelo. Right. Right. Boots will be Ugas. I hope Ugas is like put money, put, has money put away. He doesn't have a lot of fight left in him. Yeah, fighting it, it, it'll be dangerous, man. Happens if money grab, a career validation for Ryan. You know, he's going to lose, like, you know, Floyd was going to be Canelo. It's about using Tank's drawing power. Right, right. He's going to use it to his advantage. 817, I see your angle. I see your angle. Jeez, there's nothing to be proud about. Right, right. All right, everybody trying to see a big fight, but 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 oh, but <laughs> <laughs> man, right, right. I feel you, man. I feel you trying to boost Ryan's social profile. Period. I'm with that. I feel that. I feel that. Um, eight one seven, Ryan made boost sweat. Ooh, guys, is another level. I feel you, but see, it's styles. You know what I'm saying? Styles make fights, Adolfo. That was a that was a that was a game of styles. That was a fight of styles right there. You know what I'm saying? Cause it wasn't just think about it. It wasn't like Karen had any level of success against Boots. He didn't win a solitary round. All he did was, you know, show that Boots still needs some work, obviously, and and that he just didn't knock him out. You get what I'm saying? Other than that, he beat him up. You know what I'm saying? All he do did was survive the whole night. He had zero success in any of the rounds because he didn't put up an effort. He just was in there to not get knocked out. Advertising money on Ryan as a boxer and an athlete. Right, right. It's like Spence is true. Ooh, guys, I'm from Cuba, but I'm not blind. Right, right, man. Spence this different, man. Who guys is a damn solid ass fighter, a hell of a warrior, man. But Boots, the worst thing I think would be for him to be coming back fighting a guy like Boots in is coming off of Earl Spence loss. But you know, I respect the hell out of him. He been a warrior. I don't expect nothing less from him. And and look, I ain't mad at him. If that's the right route he want to go, so be it. You know what I mean? I ain't. Who am I to get in the way of it? I don't want to get in the way. Let them fight. That was not intimidating at all. I think it's a soft ass voice. So I just find it intimidating, but people like that. No offense. Hell of a fighter. Right. I get you. Truth is, Dad versus Loma is a big fight. Ryan versus Tank is a big fight. Talk about it, Rick. That's a fact. That's a fact, man. That's a fact. Big fights. And I respect both fights. You know what I'm saying? Both fights for different reasons. You know what I'm saying? Both fights for different reasons. And I know they're going to deliver. Them boys are going to go out there and deliver. They're going to continue to be great. You know what I mean? And for making, making fights that they know they're not prepared for. Just to say they got this name on their resume is context to these box racks. That's just my opinion. No, I get you. Get you. Guys taking fights, they that they, they you know you feel like they know they ain't gonna be prepared to win, but at the end of the day, they'd just be able to say, I fought that guy. You know what I mean? I shared the ring with that guy. I know what you meant, prepare. I got you. I got you, Brody. I definitely and I feel you, you know what I'm saying? I definitely get what you're saying. I definitely get you that. Rumor has it was talking maybe next for Morel. Yeah, that's a body for Morel. He's gonna beat the hell out of Uskatagi. Seriously, he's gonna trash him. It's, and is he different though? You can tell he like that. Yeah, he wants smoke, bro. He wants smoke, fate, and and all of it, man. Goes to the fight. Ryan might break a nail. <laughs> yeah, I believe in him, man. I I believe in him though. I believe. I think he, you know, right now he just got to stand on business. That's all he gotta do. Stand on business, man. Stand on business and get in there and meet your maker. You wanted this fight. You get. You got this fight. You know what I'm saying. I think Riri actually got a 10% chance. <laughs> yeah, I think Tank going to beat him up. I think the most he can do is, you know, be be competitive, fight back early. But I think, you know, he could just buy himself some time into the, into the um, you know, the untimely knockout because that's, that's what it's going to be. You can't beat Ronnie. Call out Devin or Shakur. Man, right. 
that's where I'm at with it. It's going to be fun. You see what I'm saying? All these dudes getting their fights out their way, Rick. And it's fun. It's, it's fun. Uh, but I'm not picking him to be no tank. With tank is better, Budrick. Right. Right. Tank is star, Ryan is star, destroy Garcia. <laughs> I feel you, Omega. Imagine Ryan pulls some BS on fight week. Yo, he'll get slaughtered. D1, my God, what's good with it, Brody? Appreciate you pulling up. Salute to everybody pulling back up for the second cook. I do appreciate all y'all, man. Y'all smash that, smash A, that like button for you, bro, man. Once Ryan out the way, the better fights will show out. Yeah, it's possible, man. It's possible. It's possible, y'all. It's possible. But again, at least we got it in, in uh, you know, Golden 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 Boy is keeping Kid Austin pretty busy because they throwing him on that undercard. Nah, man, I think that's good for him. What's good with my boy D1, man? How you feeling? Boots Earl invincibility somehow vanished. The irony in spite of despite the fact he won't easily get the curse of tank wins, but doesn't knock you out. He's criticizing you become a star, right? 100 percent you do. And it's crazy, but that's why you got real ones like us that talk about this sport and here to put things in perspective. Like, we know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Ryan B. Tank, he can name his price. Right. Right, Rick. 100%. Dad wants the winner. And I'm telling you, that it's lining up, Crush. It's all lining up to me. Kid also on the undercard for Tank. Right. Right, Fate. Yes, he's on the undercard, bro. Right. He's on the undercard. Yeah, I just peeped that out, so... Before I got up here, so Kate Austin will be on that undercard. That's one person that I do know is on the undercard. I want to know who else, but I know he's he he he's talking about it, so he's definitely there. So that's good, you know what I'm saying? And maybe taking Ryan maybe broke down some barriers with this fight. It's bigger than just this one fight, y'all. I'm still looking at for the the totality of the sport and how this could affect the sport. Because after this, y'all, they have no excuse for not making other fights. He's over at Golden Boy, and Tank is on this side. You get what I'm saying? He's Showtime, Al Hamer. You get what I'm going? Like, there after this point, there should be no excuse for cross-promotional fights. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You got Ryan to get in there with Tank Davis. That is it. I don't want to hear nothing else. I don't want to hear they can't give us no fight. Man, I don't want to hear it, yo. I'm glad this I'm, is bigger than just this one fight for me. Y'all. I'm glad this is happening. Because this will be a prime example not to make any excuse when it comes time to make another big fight. They won't do it, yeah. They won't do it. Still going to make a big check even if he loses at the tank, knocks him out. He's going to get a nice paycheck. A absolutely. Absolutely he is. Ain't that much if in Webster's. <laughs> Anybody here, Boots? On, on car, I'm late. Been working hard. Yeah, Um. Uh. D1, that's what they were saying, Boots. It's not going to be on Tank Undercard, and I guess they're looking for him to headline his own card is what I'm what I'm hearing. You know what I'm saying? See, so what's good with it, Brody? How you feeling? He said we bougie around here. <laughs> Smash A, the like button. You know what I mean? Smash A. It's good to imagine Tank seeing face-to-face -face and Kid also has to take a pick. He sparred with him before. He sparred with him. They took a pick before uh, Fate. They got a pick together. They got one taking kid Austin because he sparred with him. I mean, they respect Tank, man. They respect Tank. They know it. Remember, Dad was talking to Canelo and they asked to take a flick the moment he saw. Yeah, you know how that be. He beat the steroids. Yeah, I was punched that like button. I studied. Oh, okay. Ain't no barriers coming down for Lorenzo versus Arrow. Just. <laughs> Man, it's something need to happen, man. Right. But they you get what I'm saying though. They look like they could be opening something up, possibly. You get what I'm saying? It should be less less reason, less, less, less restraint, less resistance being put up when it's time to make these fights. Jelly Bean, salute family. Appreciate you pulling back up. Salute to you, Brody said Lorenzo is scared, man. He don't want it, man. It seemed like Sean, my bro, salute to you, Brody. Appreciate you pulling back up. You know what I'm saying? That's what's where I'm at. It should be no excuse. You get what I'm saying, Omega? Like, it's time to give us. And this fight will be a prime example of that. Don't start your stuff, man, when it's time to fight, man. You know what I mean? To give us these fight. Make Terry fight EJ. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I am. I made my peace. I made my mental peace, Rick. You know what I mean? 
So I just, you just don't want to come outside. Period. Facts. And I said this before, 817. Until somebody come show me, give me the address, just do once the address to the side of the street that they be talking about so I can go visit it. This got to be a historical landmark at this point. Single handedly, this side of the street, that address to the side of the street that they talk about in boxing is single handedly stopped the biggest of biggest fights happening. Man, I got to know where this place is at. I need to be there. I need to go soak in that historical landmark. I need to go visit it ASAP, immediately, bro. I need to see it. Know what I mean? Stop, stop the E and B. <laughs> that's it. That's how crazy it got. Uh, uh, Crush said E and B called the Bulls E and B. My feel you, Crush Tank versus Ryan. The fight hundred percent ends in devastating fashion. No final bell required. Right, right. Just some maybe some smelling salt. You know what I mean? Love the passion, enthusiasm, optimism, but reality has shown us they always will find another reason and not make it happen, unfortunately. Yeah, but you get what I'm saying. I feel I feel better, A1, and I'm, I'm with you because you know how it is. You know how they do, right? But I feel a little bit better when we have examples to stand on, right? You get what I'm saying? Where you got examples to look at and say, well, this happened, so why can't you get what I'm saying? Why can't this? We know that it's excuses. Somebody is ducking. You get what I'm saying? Because if they can make Ryan and Tank fight, if they can not even make them fight, if they can make this fight happen, man, yo, the sky got to be the limit, man, for all these fights to happen. Again, I'm I'm the glass half full type of dude, so I'm going to always talk like this. Now, again, for the umpteenth time, how much can I pay you to go blind and get exposed? I said, oh, yeah, right. They don't want no hell, hell, no kind of problems with that. You know what I'm saying? No, he don't want none to ruin who you built yourself up to be to the world. Right, right, right. Ain't no amount of money in the world, uh, uh, 817. Ain't no amount of money. Like Brody said, man, it ain't. All right, bro, I just want to slide. <laughs> Is there a price? Nope, not for him. Not for him, unfortunately, bro. I heard 25 million from somewhere. Right, right, right. We did, we did. Taking on L's, except in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? On the big screen, right. No, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, it is. I feel you, man. I feel y'all. Shower a lot. Salute to the queen. Appreciate you stopping through. How you feeling? Mr. Mechanical, what's good, Brody? How you feeling? You know what I'm saying? I'm just, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm optimistic about things. Not that fight, but other things in boxing. I'm past that. You know what I'm saying? Most most of probably said certain fights warranted. That's crazy. Well, you, ah. Uh, it's like that. I st I'm still hopeful. You get what I'm saying? But I don't see why it wouldn't, though. Because that, that sounds like an excuse not to start giving us some fights, right? Salute to the Queen, Shia Allah. How you feeling? Think about it. Let's give it to him. EJ ducked you all these years. You cornered him. He sent you a contract. <laughs> you said no. And now we here with it. And we make here we make peace with it, brothers and sisters, kings and queens of the chat. Y'all smash shade the like button, too. And his brothers are good, but ain't Trevon K or the angel one. He might have, he might have failed. I have to check it for sure. But I'm just guessing he using these guys as a in an effort to uh to train for um Ryan Garcia. Cause obviously the height, you know what I mean, the height and reach of these dudes. You know what I'm saying? I'm guessing that's why he's using them. It's probably to highlight what I've been screaming for years. Lorenzo don't want to smoke with nobody who might slide on his ass period his career proves it look at his name he, he's duck yeah right right you, you you just couldn't be more right and it's this is what it is bro facts nope i done plug from boxing for a minute it's wild <laughs> uh not for me man because again i know how I, I see enough i know how to just go to the next thing you know what i'm saying so I, I get y'all, but I know how to I know how to go to the next thing. You know what I'm saying? There's always something going on in the sport. CAS Sports Salute fan. Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling? Yeah, smash A that like button, man. Your chop is undefeated. You got no power too. Yeah, you got yeah, you got some power. Yeah, yeah. Fight for the Ryan description. You get what I'm saying? Fit the Ryan description. Right, right. That's what then I feel like that's what he's doing. Eat up the Twitter tweeters last night. You're savage. Yeah, BS. Salute to BFTV. He be snapping off. And being strong. Yeah, it's a good sparring partner. It's, 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 you understand why they're there. You get what I'm saying? And this is the thing. At least with Tank, you know he's working. He's putting in intelligent work, right? The right work. And with Ryan, you just never know what this dude. You don't know what he up to besides hitting that damn bag and doing body shot challenges, bro. Fights are mediums. <laughs> 
Ah, yeah. That's Tank and uh, that's in him and Camp with the Barrientes brothers. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm guessing that the reason for them being in there is to emulate some of what Ryan Garcia do in the ring. Tank out there putting in that smart work. Cinnabon, Lorenzo, GGG, Loma, Tio. Talk about it. Eight one seven. Talk about it. They act like we can't call it. It's we call it what it is, man. We know what it is with them dudes. You know what I'm saying? We know what time it is. Salute to everybody in the building. Y'all punch that like button one time. Smash the like button. Tank in the UFC, right? Imagine them with them little gloves, though, man. Imagine them punch on some of them dudes with them little gloves they got in the UFC. Tank smoke one of them dudes, yeah. It'd be bad, but salute to him for always, you know what I mean, putting in work and putting it, not just working, but putting in the right work, man. He always, he ain't taking Ryan lightly despite what he think of him. That's the difference. He ain't coming here to play with that dude. He going he coming well prepared and he's coming to hurt that dude. He hear the whispers. He hear what everybody keep talking about. He hear everybody keep talking about his speed, his power, his left hook. Yeah, he get all of that. He I think bro fed up. He's sick of it. He don't want to hear that no more, bro. He don't want to hear that no more. You know what I'm saying? Tank tank coming to smoke that dude. And it, this highlights how he's always the smaller guy. Brian being 5'10 is not gonna phase him. That's not going to be as much as a deciding factor as people think, simply because you know why? Height don't fight. I will repeat this. Height don't fight. I don't give a damn how tall you people feel like Ryan is. He beat up a six-foot Mario Barrios and broke him down. Broke him down. Broke him down. Closed the gap and broke him down. And and you, you think, and that's somebody that actually can box and was putting up a good fight. I ain't saying Ryan can't put up a good fight, but that's as much as he gonna do a good fight until he until he go good night. God damn it, you know what I'm saying? I'm in my gear, man. Yeah, yo, Oscar, Oscar De La Fish, and that's clout chasing again. Eight one seven talking about he want to make Jamel Charlo versus Jaime Munguia. What a time, nice. You know what I'm saying? He in there getting that work with the brothers. Omega, he a smart dude, man. Posting on the gram, you get what I'm saying? This dude, yo, Mister Mechanical, his post be weird. Mike Kirkman, salute to you, Brody. Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling? Man, yes, I appreciate you as always, man. Appreciate you, Mike. Much appreciation, man. Man, salute to everybody for pulling back up for this second time around. As promised, I told you I was coming. We was coming back to cook. Goran's gloves, I'm telling you, boy, he had changed some people, won't he? He had changed some people. Right, right, Jose. It's just a matter of time, man. It's just a matter of time till we're going to be sent into oblivion more likely than not. Tio, I think Tio gets beat up from uh by uh Josh Taylor though. Tank finna beat that <laughs> right. He putting in all the right work, 817. All the right work, Brody. What is his neck bottom rushes? You're gonna take places you would never imagine. Be a KO artist, I'm telling you. Man, you don't want sometimes y'all create y'all shout out. Height, height can't fight tank. Five five since he was thirteen, been fighting against older big 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 dudes. You get what I'm saying? His whole life, it ain't nothing new, bro. It ain't nothing new. It ain't nothing new. It just so happened that this this tall one, this tall one got a lot of speed, bro. He got a lot of speed, a lot of mouth, and he got some pop. And he got a cool, he got a cool little left hook, bro. He got a cool little lo- left hook. No disrespect to him. He got a cool little left hook. Ryan is not without skill. He is not a trash fighter. I'm never gonna say that. He's just an unproven fighter, an unseasoned fighter, a mildly tested fighter. I will say that to the ends of the earth until he show me more. For those reasons, I can't bank on him to beat Tank because too many things got to go right. I don't, I don't see it. That's what people think battles fight. Man, I'm telling you, right. I'm telling you, right. And then just the way he got to him, uh, uh, D1, and broke him down. Jarrell Joseph, my bro, how you feeling? Appreciate you pulling up. Stay away from the UFC. Yeah, man. Yeah, you but he in there with John Jones. He's in there. John Jones got he in good hands. He in good hands. He in good hands. <laughs> Kurt, my bro. Appreciate you stopping through. How you feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling today, too? We packed out my tablet, dirty ass fighter, right? Right, man. So team changing the names, like the levels on Mortal Kombat. We're gonna see who was woofing. <laughs> right, right, Rick. 100 percent Josh go Tio Sandor touched him and Josh going publicly execute Tio. I'm telling you, you gonna put hands all over that boy, man. Taking the UFC, he better find people his size. 
Man, he will. He'll find somebody his size. You know them dudes be small, too. John Jones to say they teach him how to wrestle. But I'm just thinking about, I ain't thinking about him really doing UFC, but just imagine him punching on dudes with them little gloves, bro. Woo! Man. Wow, exactly like somebody. I'm not calling out a winner. I'm calling out pain. Yeah, pain for Riri. 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 You know what I'm saying? I think at the most, bro, like, listen, at the end of the day, Ryan, the fact that he's going to get in the ring and fight back is going to give him that much of a chance, if that makes sense to y'all. He's going to fight back. He's He has a hand. He has hand, left and a right hand, right? Got a left hook and he got speed. He got some power, right? But is that going to be enough? Do you have the smarts? Do you have the IQ? Do you have the game plan? You know what I'm saying? Are you tough enough? Are you dog enough? Are you game enough? Will you relish the moment the way Tank Davis has time and time and time and time again? You get what I'm saying? Are you ready for this stage? You have a lot of unknowns with Ryan Garcia. Just, and again, when with boxing being 90% mental, I'm not, I'm not stuck on his physical, the things that he do well. And again, he's athletic, but Tank is an athlete. It's a difference between them. Tank is an athlete. He's not just athletic. He's an athlete. Ryan is just athletic, and he's only fast from the waist up, bro. You know what I'm saying? See Tank going in for a double. <laughs> oh, man. Burger King crown on him. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. There's our dynamite. He's going to kick and tackle him it's for three rounds. I'm telling you, Rip Jones coming through strong early in the building. Salute to my bro, Rip Jones. Blessings just do. Salute. Salute to my bro, man. Much appreciation for the support, man. Make it your just do, man. Got to, bro. And we ain't never got to box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time for is. you to get your just do. Salute to my bro, Rip Jones. Appreciate you, bro. Tank will break his hands with them last gloves. <laughs> which, which was it? The question to be, 817, what are you going to break first with them gloves? His hands or somebody face? You know what I'm saying? Is Josh and Teal officially happening? I know, Kurt, that they're, they, they're reporting uh june 10th you know what i'm saying so as it stands that's the latest that i heard on it but i keep hearing that you know they might have some pushback because of the situation with jack catterall so i don't know you know what i mean I, I just do know that that's what they're dropping that's what they're releasing you get what i'm saying i was gonna get hurt early tank gonna be laughing i'm telling you he gonna relish the moment 817 he gonna do something bad to him man I'm telling you I'm telling you Ryan feet going to betray him. Yeah, them stuck in the mud, Rick. Stuck in the mud. Them joints stuck in the mud. Give me my credit, man. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, yeah, man. He going to be in there enjoying himself, 817. Tank written all over. He will get KOs and become champ. All you need is three fights to become champ. <laughs> Both at the same damn time. Just hand in they face. <laughs> man, that speed dumb versus hands. From TNT career ending defeat is <laughs> him and the L skills crazy. <laughs> he says career ending defeat is imminent. Yeah, I feel you, skills. I feel you. Question is who tank gonna talk to in the crowd while fighting Ryan, right? Right. Who what he gonna who what he gonna be looking for his mom probably again? William old school. Salute to you, Brody. How you feeling, brother? Appreciate you stopping through. How you feeling? Salute to you, bro. I'm telling you, man, that's gonna be a fun fight to watch, man. Ryan still got some time to find an excuse to duck. He better, he better not. He he, he had ruined his career at this point, man. Even he had put his career in a different light if he played like that. I mean, it's a sorry fight, but they're still gonna watch and talk about it, man. That's the great, man. That's the greatness of it. They know that's a damn good fight. Just like Rick said, it's a big fight, whether people want to say it or not. Ryan possesses extraordinary speed. Tank has extraordinary power and intelligence with the speed and quickness. With the speed and quickness. He ain't just fast. He quick too, right? Salute to my bro, Mike Kirkman, putting that color in the chat. Much love to you, bro. Appreciate the love, man. Salute and to we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but, 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 but now it's time yeah. for you to get your just do. Salute to my bro, Flossy Sports TV. What's good with it, Flossy? How you feeling, bro? Good with it, Flossy. Ryan play possum and sneak him. That's the only way I see him winning. Man, I'm telling you, and that's not even going to work because I think Tank will be ready for that. Ryan getting cooked by Tank, no other way to put it. Right. He's going to be competitive early. He might be dangerous early. 
You know what I'm saying? But that's early. You know what I'm saying? And I all got everybody got speed and power early. But the thing is, we know for a fact, undeniably, Tank carries that power the entire fight. And he's very smart in there. He's crafty. He set traps. You get what I'm saying? It's just the IQ is going is going to be the the biggest problem. You know what I mean? At first year, you could try to be fast and quick, and you know what I mean it'll buy you some rounds. You get what I'm saying? Being quick and fast, it'll buy you a couple rounds, and maybe you'll do some things well in there. I'm not I'm not oblivious to that because it's a fight. Tank ain't perfect, right? But he don't have to be. No disrespect. I'm not saying he's supposed to go in there and be wild and sloppy. When is he ever that? But he ain't the one that got to be perfect for the fight. That's Ryan Garcia got to be perfect. He really, he's, he got that type of pressure on him. Like, he got to worry about that. Tank ain't got to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? He just got to go out there and perform how he normally perform. There's no uh, added pressure other than to do what Tank Davis does, which is just be himself. Go out there and be a devastating boxer. You know what I mean? Go out there, be intelligent, work your way into the fight. Create your opening, set your traps, close the gap, and, and get your opponent out of there. That's what he do. It's Ryan that has to be perfect. That is going to be the biggest problem. He, his margin for error, should I say, is much smaller than what Tank says, just to be fair. You get what I'm saying? That margin for error is, a, is, a, is, is, is something to, to pay close attention to. He's the one that got to go in there and be, and when have you ever seen him be perfect? You ain't seen Tank be perfect either, but he ain't got to be, is my point. Can he be reckless, careless, and, and underestimate him? Absolutely not. No. But is he going to do that? No. You know he not. Like, again, I, I go back to that, to, that, to, that, to that quote, man. A focused Tank is a dangerous Tank. And I, I ain't seen the last time the man ain't been focused. He's very dangerous when he locked in like this mentally, yo. The dude could put aside the stuff that he go through in life and get in there and shut your lights out still without a care in the world. He out there smiling, chilling, looking at his people. He talking in the ring. Man, it's different. He relishes the moment. I'm telling you, that moment is that stage is set and built for him. Ryan is just a participant on the night. I'm telling you, he just there to add the tank legacy, man, to be honest with you. Straight like that. Respect to him for getting his ass in there. You know what I mean? But man, I just think what it is is gonna be what it's gonna be. You know what I mean? And it ain't no predetermined outcome. I just hold Tank to the standard that he's been performing at. And I see him in there with a guy that he's just much more proven than, uh, considerably smarter than, and he's a lot more crafty. This is just what it is. And he pack a wallet for a punch, man. Salute to my bro, Mike Kirkman. <laughs> no, right. I see the king of duck talk. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Right. It, but I feel like this is what I was hearing, though, Kurt. They, they were saying, and this was coming from a close, a good source, that Ryan was two feet in with making this fight. And, and remember, I remember criticizing him because he said something about the reason he didn't want the tune up. I heard that that was truth to that. No, he didn't want no tune up. He just wanted tank the entire time. So I respect the hell out of him. I was hearing if anybody was holding it up, it was Oscar. It wasn't it wasn't Ryan. Ryan was adamant about, yo, get me this fight. So I got to respect him right now as it stands. But if he find any window, any reason, any excuse whatsoever to not make it to this, this date of April 22nd, I will be on him. Y'all know I'm going to be on him. You know what I'm saying? I'm spamming that left hook all fight. I'm telling you, it's not going to work, bro. It's not going to work. I can separate in the ring from outside the ring. Ryan is ready for tank. His footwork is horrible. Right. 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 Has tank ever been hurt? And I say mildly, you know, maybe a little buzz here or there, Mike. You get what I'm saying? He's been hit with some good shots, but I ain't talking. I ain't never seen him visibly hurt. Zach B, salute to you, bro. We appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling, Zach? I mean, I ain't seen it. That stiff arm might be annoying. It, the, the ref might warn him about that, that little stiff arm. You get what I'm saying? He could go in there and get ruined all because he... he, he he lead by the wrong folks. Yeah, yeah. He led by the wrong folks. Right. Knock Barrett's out in the 11th. Gambo in the 12th. You got to be worried the whole time. We haven't seen a punter with, <laughs> a puncher with this kind of power in a very long time. Yeah, it's a cheat code, bro. And he understands himself very well. He understands how dangerous he is. And he knows what to do and when to do it more times than not. Win-win situation. Right, right. Smart move, Rick. He is. He's smart. He might be a little smarter than we think, right? On the business side, man, Ryan might have learned a thing or two. 
What be speed time and who beats intelligence? Nothing. The body follows the mind. Well placed intelligence is undefeated. Facts, fact skills, fact. That is a fact. Oh, and a salute to you, Brody. Appreciate you pulling up. Had a press conference between Ryan and Tank goes. Ryan better stick and move on Tank. Don't stand tall and fight him. He will get washed early. Stick and move, right? He got to stick and move. Ryan be too big and Tank. Pulling Ryan for a Olympian like that. Man. They don't know. Man, they going to learn the hard way. Skis, skillies, pay the billies. I'm telling you. The tree ain't barking up with my blessings and help. <laughs> That's the tree. He ain't barking up. My blessings and help. I feel you. BVO boxing. Salute to you, bro. Appreciate you pulling up. You don't get hit to get a boxer that runs around the ring all night. Right. Tank about to go to bed. I feel you, BVO. We know who you rocking with. Smoke. What's good with the smoke? How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping through. James, appreciate you, fan. Salute to you. I had to tank legs that Errol Smith Jr. said. I'm going to put, put you on my resume. Right. And it's going to be a nice little name. Old school salute to you, fan. Appreciate you pulling up. Yes, sir. Kid Austin, man. Kid Austin says he will be on the Tank Davis undercard. Salute to him for the opportunity. Let's see what he do with it. Let's see who they put him in there with. You know what I'm saying? Ron is going to sleep. Get your Dave ready. <laughs> mm, right, chance to fight and stick and move his hands. In front of Tank. Between 8th and 10th. Stick and moves. He has a shot. Keyword, a shot. I feel you. Trying to replicate what he's seen for years. And it ain't going to work. You know what I mean? It ain't going to work, right? Think sparring partners are twins, bro. Right, you're right. Yeah, the twin brothers. Yeah, the, the twin brothers, the variantist brothers. Is there a buzz? A new fight, Devin, two or three times, twice against Jojo Linares. I feel that. I feel you. I feel you. I feel all oh, y'all. Yeah. They better keep that towel handy. <laughs> Amb Amber Lamb's on st standby. People don't believe it it's until they're until they in it. You know it. You know, salute to my baby girl, my queen. How you feeling? Yes, two in a row. Salute to everybody pulling up for the second cook. I appreciate all y'all. Y'all smash shade that like button for me. Salute to my baby girl. Don't work too hard. Old. And so it's it's always fun to see. It's going to be fun to see. Um, I, I want to see how this undercard shape out. And like I said, as we as it stands, we was hearing that Boots was going to be on this undercard. But, you know, like I said, I'm hearing today that's not the case. And they looking to make him his a main event of his own car. So I'm cool with that, too. But I wouldn't I definitely wouldn't mind seeing Boots in this on another Tank Davis undercard to uh, kind of, you know, what I mean, get the fans a different. You know what I mean? Impression of him the next time out. You know what I'm saying? But he's gonna be he's gonna be all right regardless. You know what I'm saying? Bruce Sanders. But like I said, as it stands, Kid Austin is on the undercard. And let's see what he do with his opportunity. Let's see who they match him up with. We know he's been doing a lot of talking about Keyshawn Davis and Devin Haney, and he's been adamant that these dudes don't got no chin and he's gonna beat him up when he get a chance. So and he said respectfully, because he said it's his job. So he's on these dudes' helmets. It's fun to hear him talking. But when the time comes, he's going to have to stand on it. Salute to my bro, Sean, putting that cover back in the chat. Ryan can't move back as well. He starts stumbling. Better be careful pursuing Tank, too. He walking a tight rope in this fight. Facts, it's Sean, and the fact that he got to be damn near perfect the entire night is going to be pins and needles for that man. It's going to be a stressful fight. It's, I'm telling you, that could be mentally draining, too. I'm telling you. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time yeah. for you to get your just do. And it's real to like question, you know, not his mental in a disrespectful way, but <clears throat> the strength of his mental. Like, is he really gonna stand tall under them lights? Is he gonna is he gonna cease the moment? Is he gonna take advantage of that? Is he gonna fold under pressure? Is the is the moment gonna be too much for him? You get what I'm saying? It's a lot of unknowns with this dude, and I think they're real possibilities. Like, you got to think. It's a dude that was saying he had anxiety attacks and stuff like that, right? You get what I'm saying? So this is a big moment for this dude, definitely. So we're going to see. We're going to see if he's going to take advantage of it. Don't keep saying smash that. Yeah, y'all smash that. You know what I mean? We fancy. Smash that. <laughs> smash that, BC. Bo Boots next opponent is in trouble. 
I'm telling you, Kurt, I feel the same way. He gonna make he gonna make an example out of somebody. He hear the talks and he gonna go to the lab like a real one's supposed to. He's gonna sharpen up on some things and guarantee you're gonna be better the next time out. You probably will never see Boots look the way he did against Corinne. And you probably never see him in there with a style again like Corinne. And like I said before, I ain't saying uh Corinne is exactly Emmanuel Augustus, but I'm just saying Boots ran into his Emmanuel Augustus when he ran into Corinne. And what I mean by that is Emmanuel Augustus tend to be a guy that you don't look good against. And it's a good chance that Corinne might be one of those dudes. He might be one of those fighters that you just don't look good against, but he beat him every round. See what I'm saying? So on to the next. It's a learning experience. You go back to the drawing board. You you cor you correct some things, and then you get back to it. And that's what Boo's going to do. So I think he'd be all right. You know what I mean? Ryan got to punch his chance, in my honest opinion. Right. Right, Rick. And then the thing is, respectfully, and you know, everybody it's it's the punches you don't see that it cost you you know what i'm saying and respectfully and it you know it, it's crazy because i even feel like if he got hit with some of ryan's best shit he can get up from it if get if he get dropped he can recover if he get buzzed it's it's ryan that i don't think has the same luxury i think his chain get checked like that i think it's gonna be good night for him we'll have another big fight <laughs> he might not need one right he gonna cash in Man, he might 817. He might, bro. He might. I'm not proud to say Tank going to run up. That's what's wrong with boxing. Not our opinions. I want more suspense. Roller coaster nail biting. But it is enough suspense, though. Just because we feel a certain way, everybody thought Mike Tyson was going to beat Buster Douglas, right? Get what I'm saying? It, 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 again, it's just just because the majority of the people feel a certain way don't make it a predetermined outcome. You get what I'm saying? It don't make the fight any less you know uh entertaining or suspenseful because there's still unknowns it's the, it's always that what if factor right it's like anything can always happen on the night so you still got to consider that it is boxing and we've seen stranger things happen right so again you know what i mean it it it, uh, it definitely presents a set of challenges but i mean the fact that people might not see it as 50 50 i don't think it makes it a bad fight it's just it speaks to the level again of tank davis you know what I'm saying? I think that's what that is. Big fight too. Lights get bright. And tank, man, you get what I'm saying? He fights. He fights. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. But I again, I, I feel like you know we we we've seen upsets. And if I ain't never seen my fair share of them, then maybe I think undeniably like, yeah, this is a predetermined outcome. But you know what I mean? My my feelings towards who I think on when being Tank and how is because of what I've seen. He's proven it, so I expect him to continue to be able to prove it. You know what I'm saying? But still, in all, you have to go out there on the night and execute, and anything can happen. You know what I mean, right, right, Rip. I can see him going down too and staying down. Black Grass Podcast. Salute to my bro. How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping through. Yes, man. Y'all punched that like button one time if y'all haven't. Who's going to demonstrate on his next opponent? I think so, too, uh, Kurt. I think so. Craig's Ryan for the first time. We might see a panic attack. <laughs> Cash App is ready for the faves. Like, watch a predictable movie. I just don't feel like, I mean, I, I don't know what to say about that. Like, it, it's like, I don't know. Because uh, I, I, I just, it's like, that's almost like saying the fight shouldn't happen because people feel like Tank going to win. You get what I'm saying? It's a lot of times when we feel like somebody going to win, but they don't. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying I think I don't think Tank going to win. I still think that, but it's it's they still the fight still has to ha take place for for me to see what's going to happen. Like again, you know, a lot of people thought Tyson was going to be Buster Douglas, and he did. You get what I'm saying? Upsets do happen. You know what I'm saying? People say that about Lara. Kevin, what's good with it, Kev? How you feeling, bro? Appreciate you stopping through. Tank has demonstrated he has a solid chin. Williams is super. Yeah, you go. So I, I get it, man. Y'all want the suspense. The suspense is if Ryan can catch him it, for me. But I get it. The 50 50s. And I feel like this fight will work closer to that. You get what I'm saying? This fight will working closer to that. I mean, the boxing for the casuals, fans, their stories match up. <laughs> right, right. Old school salute, salute. My Tyson and Buster Dodd. I was wrong for the first time, but I was right the second time. I could feel that old school salute to you. Tyson was my guy, too. And I only just use that as an example, you know what I mean? Because, it, you know, upsets do happen, but I, I get it. You know what I mean? People don't want to watch a fight if you feel like you know what's going to happen. But it's always that, that you know, boxing is really truly the theater of the unknown. You know what I'm saying? And this is like on any given night, you can see something crazy. 
I mean, right, 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 right. It's, it's, it's a certain suspense to that, right? And the fact that you got a guy and Ryan trying to be brave on the other end should make it fun. It should make it fun. Well, I'm domestic. He could be, he could be by some, by some, but the most important skills, and I feel you, because some people might just blow him off. Like some people say he's trash to begin with, right? I feel like if you're saying he's trash, that's underestimating him, right? But for me, like I always say, I say things that sound logical, unproven, mildly tested. You get what I'm saying? Not as battle tested or as experienced, especially on the level. But yeah, the main, most important thing is that Tank don't underestimate him. And I don't think he is, you know what I'm saying? You with power too, right? So it's 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 some dangers that he present because of the physical attributes. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I mean. So it's gonna make for a fun fight. You get what I'm saying? It's gonna make for a fun fight. Who's he gonna be talking about? You gonna get tanking the rematch that he never wanted, right? <laughs> that boy chain, right? Y'all ain't see the uh, thumbnail I had with Tank had his chain on. I had a thumbnail with Tank had his chain on. We got Tank in four or five rounds. It's been more than possible, Johnny Kill. It's just all depending on when, when he make a mistake. Pick Buster Douglas to beat Tyson. Yeah, right, right. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, it was just an example of like, you know, I just want y'all to be able to enjoy the fight and don't feel like because Tank might, you know, is look to be the favorite. It should be. It should be still entertaining and worth your money. You know what I mean? Yeah, he still got to get that job done right. Right. You underestimate anything. Yeah, he, he won't do it. And that's the thing. That's what I love about him. I think he gets up for the challenges. Like, despite of what he feel about a fighter, he going to go in there and prepare properly so he can get the job done. Like, have have a tune up. He tried that one, boy. We're going to tear him up for that one, 817, because he was so adamant about not taking that tune up, bro. Right. I feel you. My feel I pick Hobie Field to beat Tyson. Yeah, you know, I was always Tyson this, Tyson that, bro. Pillar the post when it starts. <laughs> oh man, I'm intrigued. Right. I just want y'all to enjoy this one. Enjoy this one. If I can, you know, talk about it in a way to make y'all see some things where y'all could definitely enjoy it. It should be fun, man. John's the thing gonna turn up the heat, right? You know he turn up, he turn up, he get crazy when he turn up, right? It get fun. It get fun in there. But um, you know, salute to them, salute to them, to, to them fighters, man, for staying the course and getting the job done and um making sure they deliver this fight to us, man. It's important that we get it. You know what I'm saying? That we it's important more so that fighters stand on business. And again, I'm always optimistic. I was hopeful that maybe this could be the beginning of something new for guys not having a reason to not make fights. Cause you know, with him being over there with Golden Boy, and like I said, but you know, boxing is just full of surprises, but nonetheless, at least we get in this fight, right? So let's see what, what comes after this. Let's see who they, how they stack this undercard. Like I said, the only person I know right now, I think is Kid Austin on that undercard. So we'll see how they fill it out, but at least we got a date and at least it seemed like both fighters is both feet in and, and we're going to get us a fight. But something else I came across, y'all. Um, I don't know, did anybody see that? I seen a couple uh posts. And um, a couple websites posted about Stephen Fulton and Monster Anyway having a date of uh, May 23rd. Did anybody else see that? Anybody else came across it? You think he's doing a little something and start going to work. Right, right. Turn it up on him. Turn it up right up on him, man. You know what I'm saying? Turn it up right on him. He was going to be a fan of Garcia. Right. He got my respect, Mike, most definitely. And again, being, being who I am, I got to, you know, I just I intend to be fair to all the fighters, but never fanboy for him. I'm gonna be fair to him, man. He he he, he gonna present his set of you know danger for the in the fight, and he gonna come to try to fight. I believe that, so it should make it entertaining. He definitely got my respect. Win, lose, or draw for sure. You know what I'm saying? It was happening not that long ago, right? Right. I had people saying like uh, I had some people saying Tank was don't gonna get all his time in jail, and the fight wasn't happening because of that. Those people tend to disappear when when it when it actually happened and you got word that it's happening, you don't hear it, them people just fade off. But it's, I know who was saying some of that weird stuff. But now we got the fight and then people ain't got much, nothing to say, but find something else to complain about. I mean, that's the argument. Uh Roja, um, uh, well, they feel like, you know, whoever wins still will win for us. Right, skills, we get our money's worth, and that's what's most important. And when we get two guys that stood on business and delivered a fight that they promised to the fans, that's where I'm at with it. And then both guys get to fight and just move on with their careers and then on to the next set of business. And I feel like the next set of 
business for Tank is going to be very interesting. You know what I mean? Two rounds, watch the chats, really doing good, blah, 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 then all that. <laughs> 63 was my chance of seeing Kid Austin being the champion in my lifetime. Old school salute. Uh, hmm. I don't know, man. Kid Austin is in the talent rich division, in the deep division, man. Uh, I say it, I say he, it, it's it's possible, but it all depends on how, how much he progresses from fight to fight from this point on. Like, as it stands, he looked like he got some upside. He looked like his potential, his ceiling is high. Like, he looked like he got a lot of room to grow. He's very young. He's a gym rat. He got the, the lifestyle, the fighter's lifestyle down packed. And it's just a matter of him continuing to put in the right work because he works hard. You know what I'm saying? He work like a slave. You know what I'm saying? Dude work his ass off. So, um, it's possible. It's definitely possible, old school. But it ain't going to be easy for him because, he again, he in a division where it's deep. And you got some, you got some, some dogs, but all depending on how things shake out in the next couple fights, we, 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 it'll bring us closer to that answer to see like how things gonna continue to shake out. But he's a ways away, but he on the right path, you know what I mean? In terms of just he's staying busy right now, he getting the fights in, people seeing him more. As long as he progress from fight to fight, man, he can put himself in a good chance to 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 at least contend for a title, if not straight up win one. I mean, like I think Tank's smiling in every interview. <laughs> man, you have to Tank like, man. I'm telling y'all, I think I'm playing with this boy, Gambo, out of jail and bond waiting for court, can't leave the country. Salute to Gambo, and I hope he, you know, our prayers to him in that situation. I mean, oh, wish him the best, and it is unfortunate. Yeah, facts, uh, Rosa. That's why I spoke on it the way I did. I'm just optimistic. I'm always optimistic for the talent in boxing. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to see all these dudes do well, and I feel like, you know, it's just as long as they continue to put in the work, live the lifestyle, and put in the right work and challenge themselves accordingly, these dudes all could stand on businesses. It's just like that. We It's a lot of good talent in boxing. How good remains to be seen. We're going to see who's standing when the smoke clear. But it's a lot of good boxing. It's a lot of good fighters out here, man. What Tank do right. 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 Smile. Smile. <laughs> Big smile, too, uh, 817. Appreciate you, Mike Biz. Appreciate all his teeths. Yeah, you be seeing the diamonds in his joint, 817. You be seeing the diamonds in his joint, bro. Dude, you know, him and his father was homes at one time. Yeah, and you know, I resonate with that story. So, you know, I, I root for them. I root for them as a team. Um, I, I know his father do his hell of a job trying to promote his son and keep his name out there. And I think he's been a heavy advocate for getting him to where he's at now. So, you know, uh, I just root for him. You know what I'm saying? And when when the best fight the best i truly don't have a dog in the race because i, I end up respecting and liking all these fighters for different reasons like kid austin definitely got a unique skill set that he bring to the table <clears throat> you can still see that he's very young like you can you can see it but i can also like look a bit head ahead and i can see like if he's able to continue to progress which i think he will because he's always working and you get what i'm saying i think he has access to the right kind of training and the right kind of people that can that can get him better. So, yeah, I expect to see him progress from fight to fight. That's all I'm looking for for Kid Austin. I, I like where he's at right now. And again, he, he stay in that gym, man. That, that young kid is always working. So, as long as he's putting in the right work and then getting the right fights and the right challenges, the right kind of tests, he's gonna continue to progress. And then you, we got another, you know, a rising star potentially to look forward to. That's just what it is. But I, I like Kid Austin. I mean, just tank play gets to the hit and run since it's May 5th. Right. So at least he get this fight out the way, and then that'd be what it'd be, Kurt. Right. May 5th. I'm more ready for Benavides versus Plant. Bro, 817. I'm ready for that whole card. I'm ready for that whole card, bro. That whole card is nuts. But salute to Stephen Fulton and Monster anyway. If they if that's their targeted date, if that's their date for the fight. Uh, May 23rd, like, I feel like these fights going to roll around faster than we think. So anytime you could get, like, a date on something, it's like the, the, the clock. Once we get the date, it's we on the clock. You get what I'm saying? We just sitting here patiently waiting to see this fight. You know what I'm saying? And I can't wait to see it. Like I said, it's a lot of people that treated Cool Boy like he was some type of duck. Like, he, he wasn't with the smoke. And then when you sit here and you, you really do the homework, you come to find out that he's pretty much the reason why this fight is happening which is crazy to me, but people won't give him the credit for it. So again, 
here you go, your boy just do here to put things in perspective and let people understand that they're one of the major reasons why cool boy and, and monster anyway is happening is because of cool boy now of course monster anyway had to move up to the weight class and say yes but that you expected that but still no it's cool boy going over to japan japan for the smoke you get what i'm saying he's the unified champion not the other way around he going there because he see value in himself he betting on himself and he going over there to get the people a fight win lose a draw i think it's going to be a hell of a fight i think he's going to surprise a lot of people too Okay, I got fourth round stoppage. Hospice battle. <laughs> I feel you, Skills. I feel you. I feel you, bro. I need to see bodies at the camp and fight week to nail it down, though. But that's the real one. I'm scrapping cool boy versus anyway. Facts, right? It's going to be a great scrap, man. Great fight. Entertaining. David going to try to kill Caleb. Right. And I want to see how much of that, how that has an effect on the, the, the you know, the way the fight materializes like is he going can we going really be able to see like undoubtedly like he's like he's in there he's being a bit emotional you get what i'm saying like are we going to see that you get what i'm saying that's that's what my my thoughts is to that like i mean what that's going to be like for him like I, you go in there too emotional man it can backfire on you bro and that's all i'm saying but at the end of the day i think he really want to kill caleb plant but again man just the only concern is if you if you if you found balance with that emotion you know what i mean Be, the balance between emotion and being passionate you know what i'm saying being hungry all of those rolled into one like you can be all of that on a night but you just got to find balance you got to make sure just because you you're hell bent on the ko you don't go in there just chasing that ko you get what i'm saying and i said this before we seen just seen what happened to one of the most offensively sound and gifted fighters in boost and is chase a ko we seen what happened bro that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying this is the same fight. I'm not saying the same things will happen. I'm just saying going off of that and the mentality of chase, chase a KO. Oh, I'm, I got to knock him out. I'm knocking him out before six rounds. Unnecessary pressure, unnecessary pressure. Your job should be to go in there and perform to the best of your ability. If a KO comes with you performing to the best of your ability, so be it. But you don't have to triple and quadruple down every time you speak. Ah, I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to knock him out. We've seen this shit a million times. People do that shit. They go right out there and never get the, the knockout. Never come. Then they be standing there looking stupid on the mic, having to explain why they didn't get the knockout. I've seen it so many times. I'm not saying that he can't go out here and knock him out in four to five or six rounds. But I'm just saying if, if I'm going go in depth with this fight and I'm going to look at a little area of concern, that is, it'll be that for me. It's not much else. I don't think he's going to overtrain or none of that. You get what I'm saying? But I, I just wonder, is the head all the way where it needs to be? Because, again, 90% mental boxing is. They say this all the time, right? And I'm just making sure that his mental is aligned with his physical and, and his emotional state. You get what I'm saying? Do you have the right things in mind? Remember, a boot Ennis came out there, pulled up in a lamb truck. He pulling up. He getting a star treatment. He never got that type of treatment before. Cameras all on him, watching him jump out of his car all the way walk in the tunnel it's a big jump in attention like being ready for that moment and, and that's real man like you went from that then you kind of you chased the knockout the moment got away from you a little bit didn't listen to your pops you know what i mean the same thing could happen if you just too emotional or you're not thinking clearly because you hell bent on trying to hurt this dude so bad because you don't like him and all i'm saying is it's crazy because as much as he is fired up and amped up to fight caleb plan is on the other side just as calm as cool as the other side of the pillow he's relaxed he's so like you get what i'm saying and i think it's tripping him out because he's not going out of his character he's not using no wasted energy to bark back and forth with you and they can't get understand it oh you did all this talking there now you're in my face and you don't want to say nothing you're doing a bunch of senseless barking because what sense do it make for him to do all that trash talking and then he go out there and get knocked out for real he all the trash talking that he's done up to this point I think has been strategic. It's been mental. It's been mind games. Caleb Plant has been toying with you since the since since the fight got signed, bro. Since the fight got signed, he been playing. I think he got a a slight mental edge, man. The mind games. He on your ass. He playing games. He out here buying websites. He got you threatening to sue, sending cease and desist letters. Like, man, Caleb Plant is trolling on another level y'all and it's fun it's great entertainment yo because if david benavidez go out there and knock his ass out 
it's gonna be funny but you know because it's boxing but it, then if he if, if all of that stuff leading up to the fight calls you to be off your game a little bit that would be funny if he gets you off your game like he done bought your website and some more caleb plant took trolling to another level yeah i love it this it's funny they can't get over the fact that he ain't spending no time barking he ain't interested in trading words with you he giving you your credit he's saying yo you calling him a sheep he's saying i ain't a sheep you i don't look at you as a sheep either sheep don't get to sit up here it's blowing his mind he like hold on man all this other time you on line you talking crazy you saying this you saying that then i see you you don't have nothing to say it's blowing his mind yo caleb plant is so calmly getting in this man head and like they say man he got what a four bedroom condo built in his head just sitting there he been pissing this dude off and it's funny though it's funny making david benavidez mad as hell and he really want to fight but caleb don't care at all bro he don't care he don't care but he don't care at all you know what i'm saying i'm telling you man salute to the fam y'all punch that like button man pardon me if i miss some of y'all salute to my bro Gerard. i hope plant can pull it off yeah man don't underestimate plant i'm telling you right i, I rock with plant man Okay, we're gonna get them right. I hope Cool Boy and Monster don't be on a Tuesday morning. <laughs> right, Kurt. Right, right. Damn, I ain't said nothing about dad. I'm gonna punish me for real. Just do you want to see Ryan have a panic attack in the ring? Let Tank come out the song. Let the body hit the floor. <laughs> oh man, man, y'all crazy. David Feet, Big Caleb need to stay on the move and keep changing angles and levels. Right, and don't back pull straight back. Yeah, right. And if he ain't ready to engage, stay out of punch punch range if possible. You know what I'm saying? Make him earn everything. Right. Right. Absolutely. 817. All facts. Booth said he was Mike Tyson versus Cam. Right. You get what I'm saying? Unnecessary pressure. And then just to just to finish that point, what, what else did he say? When I when what area of concern when he mentioned outdoing Tank Davis. That made me concerned. I said, dang, you don't need to outdo him. You just need to do you. Or outdo you. Say, I'm going to outdo my last performance. Say that. You don't got to outdo Tank. Outdo you. That's when the focus start kind of, uh, you know what I mean? You kind of start slipping a little bit. of you're, you're taking your eye off the ball because you're thinking about the wrong stuff. Chasing a knockout. Being so spectacular. You, you, you know, I'm going to knock this guy. I'm knock this guy. I'm going to look better than Tank. No, sir. Look better than Boots. Don't try to outperform Tank. Just outperform you. Be the best version of you on the night. And let and again, if a knockout comes with that, if if you being the best version of you on the night comes with a knockout and you looking better than Tank Davis on the night, then that's your icing on the cake. But that shouldn't be your mentality. Your mentality should not be to go in there and outperform Tank Davis. To me, it shouldn't be. You should embrace the moment be appreciative of the moment not saying you not but just keep things in perspective and remember why you here and what got you here being you not trying to outdo tank davis you get what i'm saying and that's just a small critique that's like a constructive criticism i have nothing negative to say about him that's one of my favorite fighters to watch but if there's any takeaway i would have i would say that just make sure you your focus is always 100 percent in line where it needs to be at no point in time did you need to think at all that you had to outdo tank at all just do outdo boots if anybody if you're gonna outdo anybody i'll do the performance you had before this one that's it you get what i'm saying embrace the moment know what why you here and what got you here listening to your dad not chasing a knockout not playing to the crowd none of that stuff got you here listening to not pulling up in a lamb truck jumping out with the cameras on you i get it you was you was you was feeling the moment you were supposed to soak that in but it, it ain't about that. None of that got you here. What got you here? Listening to your dad. A hundred percent. Not tuning him out. His voice kind of being background noise. You playing to the crowd, chasing a knockout that never came. Benavidez, don't fall victim to that. You don't have to chase a knockout. Go in there and perform to the best of your ability, bro. If a knockout comes with you performing to the best of your ability, then it's icing on the cake. But you, yeah, I get it. It's pay-per-view. You want to impress? Nah, bro. Go out there and win. That's how you lose. The same crowd that you're trying to impress is the same crowd that's going to dish you when you lose. You go out there trying to impress the wrong people. Go out there and try to be the best version of you. Don't it impressing the crowd should come with that. You get what I'm saying? If David Benavidez is truly going to go out there and be the best version of himself, I guarantee you it would be pretty impressive to us. You don't got it's not a focus that you you don't have to go outside yourself. Ah, I gotta gotta knock him out. I never heard you promising a knockout guaranteeing a knockout with none of your other opponents and 
look, you got a hell of a 26 and 0, 23 KOs, but it ain't a hundred percent KO ratio. It's not a hundred percent KO ratio. And those dudes that you did knock out, none of them are on Caleb Plant's level. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you got much better since then, but I'm just saying. You don't have that type of power where you have to put unnecessary pressure on yourself and guarantee knockouts, bro. Just guarantee a win. You ain't got to guarantee a knockout. Guarantee looking impressive by going out there putting it together. You, you harping on the knockout too much, it might not never come. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It might not never come. Right, Kurt, that moment got too big for bro. Salute to the fam in the building, man. Salute to everybody. Caleb not scared. He's smart. Nah. Yeah, nah, nah, Caleb ain't scared. I think he's smart, bro. I think he's very intelligent right now. But I respect anybody if you feel like he's scared. That's cool. But I, I feel like he uh he playing it very strategic, buying like with a scared man buy a website to try to piss you off even more. Like he's doing a lot of little antagonizing shit, just talking, talking trash at any chance he get. But then they see him and it's like, ah, oh, that's not the same guy. It is mind games, bro. Because he really don't even hate you if you're paying attention. You hate him. He don't even care for real. That's the difference. Yeah, man, he got that condo. I'm telling you, bro, he got that condo. KJ, salute, bro. We appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling, man? Where you been at? How you feeling, bro? Ryan don't have the mentality to be tanked. Man, yeah, that's that's what I think that's what it boils down to. So crowd it's going to laugh at his ass. I'm telling you, same crowd that'll laugh at him. You get what I'm saying? If you lose, and I'm not saying everybody, you got true fans, but. The number one goal should go out there and 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 get the job done. Be as impressive as you can be within that duration and get the job done. Don't put an unnecessary pressure on yourself saying I got to knock them out in five or before six and, and then it don't come. Then maybe some self-doubt start to creep in your head. Oh, I ain't get them out of there in six. Then maybe you start pressing even harder. You get what I'm saying? I'm just saying it is a possibility. It's not end all be all. I'm just, you know what I mean, exploring the other side of it. Because the flip side is you could just go in there and do everything you say you're going to do, wipe his ass out and, and, and go about your business. You get what I'm saying? So that's possible, too. Kello, salute to my bro putting that cover in the chat. Anyone that tries talking to the Internet is quiet as a church mouse in public. I can't respect. I hope he stops Caleb. But I feel you. But just follow me for a second, Kello. And much appreciation, bro. Appreciate the support as always, man. Much love to you. Just look at it this way. I would just offer you another perspective. I won't try to change your mind, right? I'll just offer you another perspective. Could you could at least consider the mental battle, the mental games? You get what I'm saying? Because just think of it this way. What's the chances that he's scared to talk trash to somebody knowing there's no, ain't like they're going to fight? You get what I'm trying to say? What's the chances of him actually being scared to trash talk him? You get what I'm saying? Face to face. Like, what's the chances? He has no fear. Just think about it. Just think. Remember the little incident in the gym? Look how calm he was trying to tell them to chill, go back over there, go back over there. He ended up swinging on them dudes. That's not a scary dude to me. They tried to call him scary after that situation. The dude, he was truly, truly scary. He wouldn't even done it. You get what I'm saying? So they already got a history. So he showed you if need be, he'd stand, up, he'd stand on it. He'd fight you if he had to. But it ain't like the fight is going to take place outside the ring. So I'm just trying to offer you a different perspective with the mind games that I think he's playing. You get what I'm saying? Trash talking here. Then he like, think about it, because that's all David is talking about. He got him focusing on all the stuff he say online. Just think about it. He kind of deviating away from what he should be thinking about. You get what I'm saying? So it's a, it's like it's a mental battle. He's just messing with him a little bit. There's no way in shape or form I could think he's truly scared. You get what I'm saying? I think he really playing with him because, again, I could say if he had a history of like beating guys up outside the ring and you get what I'm saying? Maybe that would creep in Caleb's mind, but I don't think that's the case. I really think it's mind games with him. And I think he's trying to win that, that mental warfare battle, so to speak. You get what I'm saying? But appreciate my bro putting that cover in the chat. Much and we ain't never got to box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these, but, 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 but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Right, right. Cutting off the ring, being patient, right. Appreciate you. Well, no doubt we'd be here. David can't be picking when he's taking his shots, hit whatever you can hit. Slow Caleb down. Right, right. So he could work his ass off in the later rounds. That's a hell of a game plan, uh, uh, 817. And that's something that he probably will utilize and try to implement. You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? David come out and try to knock Caleb out. His adrenaline going to work against him and his timing. And Caleb will make him look bad, avoiding wild attacks, get up on the cars. That's all I'm saying, 817. The possibility is just there. Because he's speaking that way. You get what I'm saying? Just repeat what I said when it goes down. Right. 
right 817 man you're making great points and that's why i love these conversations that's why i love these 50 50 type fights man they fun for to talk about and uh, even better to see you know what i'm saying even better to see yeah right right anyway cool boy i love that fight man i love it and i respect both of them dudes for getting it done and again just not being divas about it and and you know putting all the right energy into making the fight man get a dog been in for the minute though um look bro again i think people felt like that right and i'll say this the only reason they didn't fight before kello because the dude lost his belts on two different occasions you get what i'm saying that's something that i hold against them but i truly think they would have fought before had it not been for those situations. And I think the second time it happened, it really messed the, the chances up of it happening. And then just think when spinning, you know, coming full circle, like when it was time for it to happen again, just look how quick it happened. You get what I'm saying? Like he still, if he truly didn't want this fight, he, he didn't have to take it. Like people, his pops are saying like pressure and stuff like that. I don't, I don't agree with his pops because at the end of the day, it ain't that much pressure in the world. Nobody can make you sign on that dotted line. I think that's also a small area of concern if they truly believe that Caleb was scared of him. I think they'd be making a grave mistake. That's on every that's my humble opinion. I don't think no part of Caleb Plant is scared of David Benavidez. I think that's something that they they kind of manufactured in their head and just like a, a narrative that they pushed that he was scared of. Him. I'm telling you, had that dude not blew his opportunities with or lost their belt the two times, you know, the ones for the outside the ring and then one on the scale. I think that fight would have happened a minute ago. You know what I'm saying? But I think now as it stands, you know, things come full circle and they right back in a position where they can make the fight. And look what happened. Caleb Plant right on the money. He took it. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a good one. Well, I appreciate your channel. You're going to go far with this. But I appreciate you, Kurt, man. I got to be fair to the sport, man. That's what Just Do represents. And I'm glad you 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 noticed that, man. Salute to my bro, Kurt. And uh, salute to Kello, man. Much appreciation to you, bro. Playing, keep his hands in his pockets. Yeah, man. If 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 he does that against Benavidez, he's gonna have problems on his hands because if his hands is in his pockets, that means that Benavidez is letting him go, and it's, that could be a tough fight for him. You know what I mean? Around David during that altercation. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> now he ain't stupid. Now Rip, know what I'm saying? He's stupid. You know what I mean? Benavidez says he's working on cutting the ring off of defense, and I believe it. I believe he is. I believe he is. Sun Tzu, the Art of War, Caleb winning. In a way, bro, that I, I, and I just offer that perspective. You get what I'm saying? It's just something to think about. Like, I think he really trying to mess with his mind a little bit. Like, if I've ever seen it, I feel like he's doing it. He's doing a pretty good job at it. He's slick with it. When he's on the Mexican monster, I ain't mad at that. He, it's going to be a tough fight for um Caleb Plant. It's going to be a tough fight. It's going to be a tough fight. You know what I'm saying? Physically. You know what I mean? Not being in love with being a bigger guy either. Yeah. Oh, cool boy. Nah, nah. He, he know he got to fight him. You know you gotta fight him but see that's the thing it makes sense to fight right it don't make sense it, it just makes sense for them to fight that's how you know when somebody if somebody is truly scared you get what i'm saying because they will still find an excuse or a reason not to fight him what if he said like yo he ain't got a belt you get what i'm saying some stupid stuff like that you get what i'm saying so that's how you know he's just not a scary guy plan has never been a scary guy i believe in him but I see. I, I feel y'all. Yeah, yeah, I feel like he, he he a little shook. I just think he uh he's strategic and he's smart. And I really believe David Benavidez ruined the opportunity for them to fight some years ago by losing his his title. I'm scared he took David Domain and sell his merch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that you ballsy as hell. He playing with him, man. I think it's mind games, y'all. So, but it's fun and it's always a good conversation. And there's no wrong answer. You know what I mean? I respect everybody's opinion. So it's all good. Rousey threat soon. You show the world, right? Right. Tank versus Ryan is different than Earl versus Lorenzo. It makes all the sense. Well, for Lorenzo at this point in his career to fight Earl for Ryan, no way. The other monetary is this good. Yeah, man. I don't get it. And it, it goes to show you, man, that man, man got more heart than him, right? You know what I'm saying? Faith said Matiz wants to send Regis to the hospital because he said Regis says he likes to hurt his opponents bad and crazy, so he'll show him crazy. It's a super fight for real. That got to happen because, again, he's putting a lot of pressure on Regis, man. Hopefully, I could get Regis up here, y'all. I'm damn sure going to try. I got to do that. Matter of fact, I'm about to reach out to his people. Matter of fact, I don't know what I was waiting for, but I'm about to do that. What happens if Caleb is trying to escape? Shit, if uh, he get that ring cut off, he going to have some a some questions to answer, BC. He's going to have some questions to be answered because, uh, you know what I mean, um, David Benny, man, he going to be coming. He going to be bringing that pressure. 
Quee Quee, my sis, appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling? Salute to everybody, man. Salute to everybody in the building pulling up for this second cook. I appreciate y'all. We're going to cook for a bit longer before we get out of here. I want to plant the dog walk Benavidez for, for his daddy. When his daddy said, yeah, right, right. That's the only thing that make me even root even more for the plant is the stuff his pop said. Other than that, I like Benavidez. He's a cool dude. Yeah. And but you know what, Akello, not that I'm um like condemning him for them. I just think though for th th those situations stop that fight from happening sooner. You know what I'm saying? Then it then it then then it then it would have, you know what I'm saying? And um I will say this since since making those mistakes, he's corrected some things and he's been on the straight and narrow and he, you know, he's he seemed locked in and focused, and that's all you could expect from a young kid. He's he's still young, you know. What I mean, he made some mistakes early. You know what I mean, bumped his head a couple times and you know what I mean, he seemed like he learned from it, seemed like he understand what's in front of him, seemed like he put in the right work, he works hard. And I know for those reasons, he's going to give us a damn good fight, win, lose, or draw. I always say that because I mean it. Like, either way, I think he's going to go out there and deliver a, a great fight. He's going to go out there and fight. You know what I'm saying? He want this fight bad, and I know he's going to fight like it. You know what I'm saying? Let's see who execute better on the night and get the job done. Let's see who want it more and fight smarter. You know what I'm saying? Let's just see. It's going to be a damn good one, though. Let's just train in a Spanish interview of what happened. Why it turned out. I can translate. Yeah, what'd he say, Brody? Y'all smash the like button for you, bro, if you have it, man. Appreciate all y'all. Uh, let's stop the Canelo fight. Right, right, that too. And, and it, gave, it gave Canelo an out, uh, Kello. Gave him an out. Gave him a reason, an excuse not to fight him. Know what I'm saying? I ain't, well, he ain't got a belt. Know what I mean? Gave him the excuse, built in excuse. Azu versus Harrison for my B-Day. Good fight. Oh, that's on your B-Day, man. Hopefully I see you, man. Well, I should be on for that fight to try to call it. So hopefully I see you, man. I could uh, wish you a happy born day, man. It's always good when you get fights on your on your B day or around your B day. You know what I mean? My B day April twenty seventh should tank fight the twenty second of April, so that shit feel like it's a little early B day present or something, man. I'm gonna definitely enjoy it. Say that because I saw the sports kill for saying that type of stuff, right? Right, BC ain't liking that. You ain't letting that one go, and I'm with you because it was it was classless. It's tasteless. It was, it's disgusting. There's no place in boxing for that. Those type of things shouldn't even be said. Like, it's there's no you get them. That's not trash talking. That's that's disrespect. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm gonna never be a fan of him for that. And he can never. He could try to shine it up and justify it or spin it however he want. I, I know what he said. He a clown. So the trainer said you know, Argentina was doing something wrong. Really wrong with our fighters. It's our responsibility. Pun said his heart. I know this, but he was overpowered. He never seen nothing like it. <laughs> Oh, they've been pacing. So maybe they think they need better work out there, you think? Fake? You saying they doing something? We're doing something wrong, really wrong with our fighters. I mean, so maybe they think they need better work because he never ran into nobody like um Matias. Shit, there ain't too many guys like Matias anyway. You know what I'm saying? There ain't too many dudes like that guy. <laughs> they ain't did nothing wrong in there. You did, Yeah, you did something wrong. You fought the wrong game plan, buddy. That's what you did. You fought the wrong game plan, buddy boy. You know what I'm saying? That's what he did, though. You know what I'm saying? Ponce came out there and emptied the, emptied the clip early. Like Stormy B, man, said he emptied the clip early. Bro came out there and just went for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, gee, like it's cool. It looked good, but can you keep it up? And right as soon as I asked it, a round or two later, I got the answer to my question. He could not keep it up. You know what I'm saying? So that was, it wasn't boxing. I missed it. Was it this was what was disrespectful? Oh, um, uh, uh, when um, Plant Pops uh said something about Caleb Plant, um, deceased kid, um, daughter, you know what I'm saying he made a little disrespectful comment, and that's why people be um, that's why people don't be rooting for uh, that's why some people are rooting more for Plant, it's more so because of what Jose Benavidez senior be saying, and he be tripping. Was landing, wasn't moving him, but Matiz, every time he landed, he moved. Yeah, should seen his point of view. Ponce was getting hurt bad. Each hit Ponce and quit. He wanted to continue. Yeah, he fought the wrong kind of fight. He gave that dude Matiz too many opportunities to hit him. And anytime you had that, you you asking for a short fight. It's almost like you asking to get knocked out. 
Like, just say you want to get knocked out without saying you want to get knocked out. That's what he did. Yeah, he, he told us without telling us by fighting that way. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, he was getting crushed, man. He got broke. He got broke down, actually. And it, it only stopped in the fifth round. Like, you get what I'm saying? He had it first. The first couple rounds was strong for him. It's crazy. Reasons, Matias. Wow. What you think about that fight? Um, Respect to Matias, man. He's a hungry young dog. I know he's calling out... Um. I know he's calling out Regis, and I expect him to. And he got a he got a belt, so I I expect this fight to take place. If Regis don't end up fighting Catterall, I don't see no reason why him and Matias can't fight. Because again, once you're a champion, you're ready for everybody. So Matias just what won what that IBF strap. Regis got the WBC strap. I'm assuming he want to participate in unifications and make another run towards undisputed again. So what better way to do that with a guy that just just won the title. It's calling you out that everybody wants to see you fight. Now, with that being said, it's a fight that definitely has to happen. There's no reason, no excuse why it can't. They're both champions. It should happen. And arguably next, again, if you don't fight Catterall or something like that, right? But when it comes to the action in the ring, to me, this is a, it's a good fight, very competitive fight. Uh, I feel like as it stands, Regis is far more experienced. He's more polished and refined at this point in his career. And he's a little more versatile as well. And the difference between the two is, again, I'm not saying Matias can't box, but he shows me that he's a fighter. He's very tough at, at doing what he do and wearing you out. But the question I have for Matias, because, you know, I have the answer for Regis. Regis is a fighter that can box. Now, the question for me is, is Matias a fighter that can box as well? Because I know he can fight. I know, I know this. We know this through and through. He's one of the toughest guys in the division right but can he box and uh, and i'm not saying he can he just don't show me that often when he fight like when somebody asks me did i see improvements in matias and i don't want to say there's no improvements but i just want to say he, his fights to me look the same he just likes a good old-fashioned war and that doesn't make for a long career the difference between him and regis too a big glaring defense uh, issue is our difference is you know matias defense for him is an afterthought it's, it's a possible option with Regis. I see Regis makes defense a priority. He makes it his business to make you miss and make you pay at times in a fight. Even though he likes to fight, I see him mix it up. He has a nice mix between boxing you and fighting you. Now, I know he says he don't box, but ultimately he's going in there to beat your ass, right? But push company, when, it ha when he has to, Regis boxes, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I see him being more versatile, more polished, more proven, more tested more experience. You get what I'm saying? I see some things leaning towards him, but no doubt in my mind, that'd be a very tough fight for him because Matias is a dog. But I think Regis' experience factor being more, you know what I mean? Just uh, more polished at this stage and, and a little more versatile. Like I've seen him do a bit more. You get what I'm saying? And Matias takes too many punches for me. I don't like it. You know what I mean? He's too tough for his own good. That's why he got the one loss he got because he's too tough for his own good. You know what I'm saying? And I know that was some years ago, but it's still you still somewhat of that guy you fight just like that you get what i'm saying you know you might be a little more polished than you was from that point to now but you still in large part are that same guy come forward very tough guy you, you tend to catch shots on the elbows and, and, and gloves pretty decently but in between all that you take a lot of unnecessary punishment it's because you're too brave for your own good and i believe regis is ponce is a good fighter but he's not at the elite level. I believe Regis will be at the elite level. And there's no doubt in my mind at the elite level, you need a lot more than just coming forward and being tough. I need to see boxing. And I'm not saying he don't box at all, but I just need to see him display more of the skill set that he got. Because as it stands, like, you know, coming forward and, you know, closing the gap, that skill in and of itself. But I want to see more boxing. You get what I'm saying? I want to see him setting traps and more than just making it a dog fight. I understand you are a dog. But can you box, too? Because at the elite level, I think you need a combination of both. It's moments where you need to box, then there's moments where you need to fight. I think Regis does both very well. You get what I'm saying? If you look at the Jose Zapata fight, he had moments where he boxed. You get what I'm saying? And then he had the moments where he fought. I mean, he did both very well. You get what I'm saying? So the, the very interesting factor, though, is while it's a fight, I believe Matias in the inside can keep up with Regis and make that very entertaining. I feel like in the inside, it's kind of, I want to say a stalemate, but it could be. It could be like a 50-50 type of deal if they chest to chest with each other. You get what I'm saying? But 
in those moments where I believe they mix it up and Regis goes to box him, I believe that's where he creates the issues for Matias. And the fact that Regis would be the hardest puncher, I think, that Matias got in there with, you you mix that with the fact that he takes a lot of punches and then he, he had a tendency to start slow, that could be trouble for him. You know what I'm saying? It, but no, no way, no scenario do I see the fight being easy for either guy. But I definitely see definitely more scenarios for Regis pulling this off right now. I just feel like Matias is is a is a, a solid, really a good fighter. But I just don't feel like he's the guy to beat Regis. I don't. I feel like Regis is the guy to beat at one forty. Jay Wild, salute, family. Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling? Put the combination together. Yeah, he topped the deal when he put them combinations together. He looked like you could tell you from what it was. It stopped soon as possible. Yeah, man, he he he, he probably could have continued, but it would have got bad. This is early shout out to Matias, right? He a dog doing it the right way, just wanting to smoke immediately. You know what I'm saying? Back, salute to my bro Zoom. How you feeling, bro? Just stopping through Zoom. How you feeling? Really ain't gonna stay on the phone book like Ponce did, right? You know what I mean? And Regis gonna fight more of his fight. Ponce, he went. He went wrong the minute he tried to fight Matias's fight, and it looked good for a couple rounds, and that was short lived, man. You know what I mean? You got to be smarter than that. That's the difference. Regis can box. He's a fighter that can box. Matias is a fighter that I'm still looking to for him to show me that how well he can box. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that would be advantage, Regis. You know what I mean, salute to my Brody Zoom. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you stopping through. You spoke an interesting on what he said. Right, right. Right, right, right. They got to get it. They should get it on because, again, he got a title. So I would love to see what Regis, you know what I mean, Phil. Right. Yeah, I'm rolling with Regis too, but Matias is nasty. But I, I tell you what, man, he become more defensively uh, sound and responsible in that ring. He going to be so much more dangerous, bro. I'm sure Tom Spurs says it just was happening across the industry. The merger of this network with Paramount. Mm, salute to you, dog. appreciate that. I also he's been called a quitter by a lot of people. But the trainer, yeah, the trainer did it. The trainer made sure he took uh uh credit for that. The trainer did that. Ponce ain't do it. People like gotta learn to place blame accordingly. Why were he supposed to fight his trainer? His trainer did it. His trainer kept pointing to himself, saying, I'm the one that did it. Ponce wanted to fight. Say please to yeah, yeah, right, right. He wanted to he wanted to fight, bro. He wanted to fight. I don't think he no quitter. I just think his team saved him from himself. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they think he. He's taking too much punishment, you know what I mean? And you know Matias got that story passed, you know what I mean? So I think maybe that was playing in the back of the head like some of y'all were saying before. So it's a real possibility that um, them thinking, you know, them worried about, you know what I mean, him really getting hurt in there, stop them dudes from, uh, you know what I mean, letting them continue. And it was crazy because I didn't expect the fight to get stopped on them terms like that. I really didn't, but as it stands, man, Ponce is still a hell of a fighter. I want to see him again, but I definitely want to see this Matias and Regis fight because I know some people feel like Regis got the wrong energy, and I don't really think, I don't think, because I don't see him as no duck, and he never duck smoke, so I just feel like, uh, I don't know, I can't really explain it. Like, what better way than try to get an interview with him so he could talk to us, you know what I'm saying? Tell us what he think about a fight with Matias and when do he see himself potentially fighting him? I would love to ask him that, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just a fight that the people want to see, you know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, it, it it that's that's my CTV at the end of the day, you know what I mean? But I, I just, I favor Regis because of experience and, you know, just being more polished at this stage in his career, being a bit more versatile, like I said, but make no mistake, that would be a dog fight for both of them. Because Regis don't back down, and Matias would would try to force him to fight, and I see Regis obliging him. So, like I said, the interesting dynamic is when they get to the inside, that's, that'd be like a, a more of an even fight in the inside because I believe Matias, with those real short, compact shots, could be very effective in the inside. But Regis can throw some, some real compact, effective shots in the inside as well. He works real well in the inside, so it will just be an entertaining fight to watch. And see how it plays out. Should get Regis kid Austin Hitchens. Mm. Telling you, man, these all these this is all good talent to watch right here. 
on oh, no, showing up tonight. Okay. Thursday night. Yes, sir. You can get Coach Calvin. I feel that. I feel that. I feel you. I'm going to go see Reese's versus Matias and her facts, man. Facts. Ash. I love to see these dudes scrap it out. I said, man, um, hopefully Regis oblige him. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully Regis oblige him if he don't got no other obligation or no other fight lined up. Like I said, it was some some exchange between him and Jack Catterall about a fight. So I don't know if that's an opportunity that they go at go in being that they're saying. Because if you see as it stands, it looked like Jack Catterall got screwed out of an opportunity at a rematch with Josh Taylor. So they talking about Josh Taylor and Tiafimo for June 10th. So that if if that if that proceeds, that leaves Jack Catterall without a dance partner. But as it stands, like I said, with him and Regis exchanging, like you know, what I mean, words about a potential fight, that would be his other opportunity to at least have a shot at fighting for a title, competing for a title again. So I wouldn't be totally against that because of how Jack Catterall got treated. You get what I'm saying? At least it'd be dope for Regis to give him an opportunity that. Punk as Josh Taylor didn't want to give him, obviously. You get what I'm saying? So I'm in favor of that if that's the fight to happen. But at the same time, if for any reason that that doesn't happen, then I don't see why we can't get Regis and um, Matias now. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, he's a champion. Once you're a champion, you're ready for everybody. And Regis got the WBC. Matias got the IBF. Unifications matter. And I don't see why, they, why it can't happen. Cypher salute fan, appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling? Yeah, man, they did him dirty. Did him dirty, man. I just don't like that. And I really, uh, I love the sport. I hate to see fighters get done like that because they wasted a lot of time, man, over a year. And that dude can't get none of that time back. And, that, and that's just unfortunate the way they're carrying it. And then to, to, to add insult to injury, it's like they remove an opportunity for him and then they give it to somebody else that seems less deserving of the opportunity than he does. So, it's crazy how boxing can screw people over, and it's just unfortunate what they do to some of these fighters. You know what I'm saying? Don't know if you crash on the team. Josh, press conference is worried. I'm telling you, uh, be on some Shannon and Cannon stuff, Ash, and just press them. Press them. They'll be pressing on his helmet, yo. Milk and Regis Richmond with tears for press reasons. Probably so. Probably so, because like I said, man, Regis ain't ducking no smoke. You're going to have to show me that. That dude ain't ducking no smoke. He might not be giving people the answers that they, they're cool with or they're comfortable with, but I, Regis Progre ain't ducking no smoke. He is the smoke. That man that man ain't ducking no smoke, man. That's one of my favorite fighters to watch as well because he's standing on business. You know what I'm saying? And, dude, bro, fight whoever. You know what I'm saying? He fight whoever. Matias really been taking O's. I'm telling you, Matias is tough, man. He's a tough dude. He's a tough competitor. If you're not... You're not a dog like he is, and you try to dog with him, it's going to end bad for you. That's what Ponce did. See, Ponce didn't realize that just because you had that early success, you didn't realize that it, it wasn't going to stay like that. And you failed to make the necessary adjustment that could continue to you know, create separation in the fight. You didn't make the adjustment. You went out there guns blazing, and you stayed guns blazing. And then, then it backfired because all Matisse did was – get weather the early storm get used to you you know what i mean adjust start catching more shots on the arms and elbows and gloves and just started hitting you with those little short shots in the inside and slowly but surely just broke you down and a few rounds later you out of there you're the corner stopping it so it was just a bad game plan you know what i'm saying it was a bad game plan yeah i think after about two rounds he should have switched tactics i think he stayed he stayed in, in dog mode too long, and I think he shot his load as a result, and he put himself in a position to get hurt early doing that. You know what I mean? And it kind of backfired on him. She so said in an interview recently, the fight went how he wanted it to go. <laughs> yeah, dude, he probably – because dude opened up. Dude went went right out there and went for it. And that just – that's that makes it easier for him because that's how he fight. You know what I'm saying? More so than Ponce, so – Know what I mean, but I said this, you know what I mean? The little film that I watched on Pong say, I said he leave himself open when he attacked. That's his problem. He'd be too brave. Some of these fighters be too brave for their own good, bro. And again, they, they be treating defense as an afterthought, not a priority. And it shows you go in there and you start getting touched up and then you don't respond well when people start putting hands on you. It's just what it is. He said you knew it would happen, especially fighting like that. Fate shit. Somebody would have told me dude was going to come out there and fight like that. I would have said it was going to happen too. 
And the Chidi Catarro and the fight for undisputed, absolutely all facts. Kurt is just disgusting how they did him. And the fact that people could go on, go on like they ain't did on his boxing is wild, bro. I know that dude. Man, I know he pissed off. But was that one fool that don't want to read his other than Matias? Right. Matias calling for that smoke, though. And I like it because I believe he getting there in fight reads, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to see Pro Grace versus Catterall. Yeah, Cypher, I was seeing him, um, you know, not even go back forth in a negative way, in a respectful manner about a fight with each other. So, like I was saying, being that Catterall got did so bad with the Josh Taylor situation, like he got did bad as I seen anybody get done in a long time. Not only was he robbed out of the fight that he beat Josh Taylor in, and he would have had the belts. This dude uh, got, you know, held up. You know what I mean? He got his time wasted for more than a year for a fight that they never gave him. And that's crazy. And then they moved on and gave, supposedly giving Tio and, and Taylor a date. Meanwhile, Catterall got to see if Regis is willing to give him an opportunity at the belt. It's crazy. It's crazy. Tried to scare him with the punch, punch volume. <laughs> right. Right, it ain't work. It ain't work. Ponzi say, "Oh, Matias, do is throw a lot of punches and come forward. Anyone can do that to stop somebody. Watch this. Not as easy as it looks, huh?" <laughs> right, right, as right. What he talk? What he chop about? Hey, man, salute to the fam. Y'all punch that like button for me. As B, as as my boy BC say, smash a that like button for me. I mean, Matias also says possible pull your head. Yeah, burnt the idea down. Better focus on building his career. He has no interest in being enemies. He'd rather take Regis. <laughs> mm hmm. Right. You want to see it, man. I want to see it. Taylor is Catterall. Shows you my controls. Boxing still. Man, and you is talking about. Are you talking? Physics. Physics, bro. Facts. Facts. That Fury situation. Very similar. Well, Regis can't say nobody wants to fight him no more. Yeah, you can't say that no more. Can't say that no more. Facts. I actually can't say that no more because it's out there now. You know, you know who's saying they want to fight. So he's saying he want to fight. We saying we want to see it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Smash A, BC. <laughs> J Ready. Salute to my bro, J Ready, putting that color in the chat. Much appreciation, fan. Salute to my fan, J Ready, man. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these, but but but, but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Defense is difficult when you fight in every minute or every round in the phone booth. Right, 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 and you got to truly be prepared for that. Uh, Kurt, like your inside game really got to be there. Your awareness, your conditioning, because it's gonna it's gonna turn into a war of attrition. And if you ain't ready, you are gonna gas and and, and you are gonna fade out. And Ponce, Ponce definitely shot his load. I bet you he'll learn next time. I mean, I think Regis stopping the tears late in the dog fight. Me too. I think it'll be a late stoppage for, for Regis. I think it'll be a late stoppage for Regis. Over Matias right now. Style wise. Because of styles. Not still because of styles. I'm surprised when Jack hit Regis Twitter. <laughs> Shout out to Jack for one that work. Right. Right. Salute to Jack Cairo. Salute to Twitter, man. They be active on Twitter. Uh, Ash, I created my Twitter a couple weeks back. Man, they be active up there. I still got to get used to going up there and uh, start tweeting and, and interacting a bit more up there, uh, up there. A lot of it makes me laugh out loud for real. Yeah, that's, it's stupid, man. Like, I, you know, I'll be coming. I'm always up here clowning and making little jokes. You know what I mean? Something to laugh at. Smash shade. You know what I'm saying? We fancy. When you want to be fancy, you say smash shade or like butt. You know what I'm saying? Smash shade. You know what I'm saying? Regis and Matias are really are meant to fight facts fate 100 like there's no reason why they can't fight and i ain't coming up with no reasons because i know Regis gonna stand on business when it's time and the time might be sooner than we think i mean cactus jack i would have been flipping tables in bob's office <laughs> if i was cactus jack right man right turning stuff upside down the way they did did did, did the boy man they did him foul man they did bro foul man They didn't foul, but hopefully, hopefully he he get another opportunity to become a champion or get at least shot at the title because he should already be champion. If we being honest, and it's crazy, just just know that how he convincingly he won that fight and he outlanded in every round except for one, and he got a knockdown in one of the rounds. So it was crazy. 
just it was no way Josh Taylor won that fight. Somebody paid for that decision. Somebody 100 percent paid for that decision because he didn't beat Jack Catterall. And he lucky Jack. He lucky Jack ain't flipping tables like my bro Johnny said. He lucky. Madison, so many options. Right, Vegas, Madison, so many options. Hmm. That's a good question. Hussein, salute fan. Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling? Y'all smash that like button. Sub to the channel if you knew. You gonna rock up for a few more minutes. They just gotta build some card around it. That's pay per view type vibes, right? They definitely could. They could. They can do something with it. And your arm is long, buddy. Yeah, Kennehan, right? Right, it is. But we just gonna take them tears to deep water and drown them. Mm hmm. And I think, oh, appreciate you saying salute to you, bro. Appreciate you. Uh, I think if um. Yeah, and I think mixed with the fact that he he just takes that many shots, man. Salute to Hussein. Appreciate you, fam. If the fact that just being that defensively irresponsible, man, is going to come back to haunt him, man. Again, I, I feel like Regis is at the elite level at 140, right? And I don't think Ponce is the elite level. So I think, make no mistake about it, he, Matias getting there with Regis. Matias would definitely be the best fighter Matias been in there with, but would Matias be the best fighter that Regis been in there with? And would that matter? How much would it be a factor? You get what I'm saying? Because again, sometimes you levels could it could be a gap in skill level, right? But certain styles, when a certain style is implemented over another and, and successful, and you see guys sometimes a bit more skilled still lose a fight. That's how, because a certain style is, you know, what I mean, styles make fights. A certain style implemented the correct way could be the guy that's slightly more skilled. But again, with Regis and Matias having so many similarities, and then I think Regis can do all the things Matias can do, and then some. Now, you get what I'm saying? So. I mean, the dog fighting, he can do that. The inside fighting, he can do that. Coming forward, he can do that. Making you pay with the punches, he can do that. But he can make you miss and make you pay, too. He can, You know what I mean? Regis can make you have to box. If he can box when he needs to. You know what I'm saying? So that's the good thing about Regis. They both visiting in the hospital that night, no matter the outcome. Right, right. They might be in the same hospital that night, too. I mean, might have beds next to each other because they going. They damn sure going. Part of the catarole probably never been another fight for undisputed. Hmm. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, 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 you're right. And it's like ultimately he'll never receive, like, he'll never get back the opportunity that they robbed him out of. You get what I'm saying? And that's the most unfortunate part. And then it's crazy, even though he was looked at, said to get, set to get the Josh Taylor rematch. It wouldn't even been for the belts. It wouldn't even matter for the same thing that it mattered the first time around, which is crazy. So it is really unfortunate how they did him. But I hope he find peace in this situation. I hope he find a situation that work out for him and he get a big fight. And like I said, if Regis gives him the opportunity, I wouldn't be mad at it. You get what I'm saying? But at the same time, if that Regis don't fight him, I feel like the only guy for him to fight is Matisse. Because the unification, what else would make sense? You get what I'm saying? Murray <laughs> Jack undisputed in real eyes. Right, right, right. Ah, facts, facts. We seen what Jack Catterall did. We seen him beat Josh Taylor and drop him. We seen him beat Josh Taylor up, outwork him, outland him, drop him, and beat him, out hustle him. He at least got to win the belt, right? He got to at least get an opportunity out of the belt, though, for real, for real. You got to get an opportunity at a belt. And should have gave Puyo Pou to him, man, now that I think of it. <laughs> right, right. That would have been a good opportunity. But as it stands, they gave it to uh, the artist formerly known as Roly. The artist formerly known as Roly. Yo, Roly about to become a champion, y'all, on the low. Roly really about to become champion, y'all. I don't even know it. Jack knows what's up. He's trying to fight for respect. Right. Right, you know what time it is. Jack put on, man. He like, yeah, I put on these dudes. These dudes, uh, they took the opportunity from me, and that's that's that's, that's how boxing works. Sometimes it's crazy, but the artist formerly known as Roly is about to win the title, y'all. He about to upset Pool, yo. Watch the wrong special treatment, if you know. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, 
I'm telling you, you about to get in there and upset something. You about to shake up the world. Roly, Roly, Rolando Romero about to shake up the world, y'all. Artist formerly known as Rolando. Rolando. Rolando going to be in there fighting for his life. I'm telling you. And the fact that Puglio don't hit hard, don't got no crazy punching power. I'm telling you, just think it peeped the play. They gave him the uh, weakest link out of the champions. No disrespect to him. I just think he's the the least dangerous out of all the champions. And I think that's who they gave Roly. Roly got a puncher's chance, I'm telling you. Coming out and that mean, yeah, he's gonna come out in that rat, that raccoon fur that he had for Tank. You no, know he's gonna win. I never seen that dude pull your fight. Yeah, I seen him fight uh like twice, maybe even once, yo. I'm trying to think. But I know I seen him fight once. Uh, I'm telling you, he ain't, he ain't the strongest of the champions either. No disrespect to him. He can box. But he ain't the strongest of the champions. I think Roly could, could hit him with some of them yank yanks. I can't, I think he could, you know what I mean? I think Roly could, could could rough him up in there and make the fight crazy. Yeah, that raccoon fur is crazy, Johnny. Cute ass. That's, that's that raccoon fur, man. Roly something different, man. The artist formerly known as Rolando. I mean, Rolando as bogus, y'all. Rolando, man, Rolando Roli Mormiro. You seen Roli's recent work? He keeps that right hand up now. Oh, huh? Trying to pay attention to detail, huh? The thing is, the question is going to be like, you know, when he really get put in a situation, how he going to be able to deal with it? You know what I mean? I swear, if we were rock on the road, he really don't got a chance. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He wins, he ducks all the work. Yo, if he ducked the work, we on his back, man. We on his helmet if he ducked the work, man. He made me spill my mop bucket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how he coming, BC. You know how he coming with the yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh yeah man let's see what let's see what him and bullet able to uh put together in the lab that fight coming up fast that's May 13th y'all that's gonna be here before you know it the artist formerly known as Rolando he, he you know what I'm saying he coming y'all he coming Rolando is coming y'all you know what I'm saying telling you I think now nah, I'm rolling with Roly in this one I'm picking him to upset on um, Puyo Lately, I've been picking underdogs a little bit, y'all. So y'all got part me, but I'm picking Roly for the upset. May 13th, he gonna upset Alberto. He gonna become champion. Imagine Roly becoming champion. Like somebody said this the other day before Hitchens and T.O. and all the, you know what I'm saying? All the other names. Just imagine that. Roly become champion first. That's crazy. Tank might have weakened his chin forever. I'm telling you, his punch resistance could be uh, compromised though too. That remains to be seen because the way Jahan Ingram laid him out yeah, made, me, made me wonder, man. You know, there's a puncher in a recent training video. You might see a different version. Oh, okay. I hope he did. Oh, shit. <laughs> he changed his breathing technique, bro. Really and Blair Cobbs would wipe their ass with fiberglass for all I can't sick of his ass. <laughs> He getting the opportunity, 817. They gave him a shot, bro. He about to upset. Yo, he about to upset Pool, yo, bro. I'm telling you, he about to be a champion. He going to be talking crazy after that. Raccoon for a right. Got that damn rabbit tail. Rabbit fur or something. You know what I'm saying? Certified sheepskin. Sheep. Bro, we fight that way. Because his father, Coach Bullet. Yeah, yeah. Cause, yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, Karate and street fighting and boxing is not really far. Right, right, right. The fact that they trying to force all of them styles in one when it's boxing is, is crazy. That's why he like that, right? Tank not really protective layer. Yeah, I'm telling you, he cracked, he cracked something, man. I'm telling you, he might be damaged goods, y'all. We're going to see. We're going to see because John Hank, Jahan Ingram ain't even a lightweight. I believe he had 30, so... And he cracked his chin, and that was with big gloves and headgear on, too. So, you know what I'm saying? Rolando, he might be in trouble, y'all. I don't know. But we're going to see now. Nah, he's going to be he, Puyo. If he could take Puyo punch, if his punch resistance ain't severely compromised from getting sparked by Tank and then dropped by Jahan, 
He got a chance, y'all, for upset. Roly for the upset. I'm telling you, he's going to be in there doing that rough stuff. He's going to cut Puyo and he's going to work him, y'all. He's going to cut him and work him. We got Roly was judo master. Facts, Johnny, he's a judo master. Yeah, he grunts more. Oh, all right, bet, bet. You might, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe they might not hear the punches coming as much now, bro. Roly definitely a judo, judo master, bro. Judo master, man. But. We are gonna see. He got an opportunity, nonetheless. Uh, May thirteenth. If he, I, I think he got a good chance, though. But believe it or not, I think it's a 50-50 fight. Little spinner Rooney. If he wins, I'm telling you, <laughs> say he gonna do the spinner Rooney. Roby Ro gonna spin him. Say he gonna be talking crazy. I'm telling you, when that belt shot, he gonna be talking crazy. But um, salute the monster in your way and cool boy if they got this May 23rd date. That's dope too, man. That's another fight to look forward to. Cause that mean May is getting better too. And um, did y'all see the little release of the PBC schedule? Did y'all catch it? Got some good fights, man. But again, just like the salute the champ side, like he said, man, do that look that schedule, do that look like a schedule, look like a a, a company that's going broke, a company that's going broke. I don't think so, bro. So Salute to PBC for dropping these fights, man, because we got some good fights coming up. We got some solid cars coming up. And out of all of the fights that was on the schedule, only two of them, I think, was pay-per-view. That was Caleb Plant and Benavidez, and that was Tank and Ryan Carr, I believe. The rest of them are not, are not on pay-per-view, and they're damn good cars. So we got some good action to look forward to, y'all. We got some damn good action. You know what I mean? As things continue to heat up at 140, as, you know, Devin Haney and, and Richardson Hitchens exchange their words. It's getting fun, y'all. It's, it's fun. But uh, something else I wanted to chop it up about real quick, you know what I mean, before you got up here. Did any of y'all see the, um, Oscar De La Hoya talking about making um, Jamel Charlo versus Jaime McGee? Like, this dude take clout chasing to another another level, bro. Like, I, I truly wish I could understand Oscar De La Hoya. I don't. I don't, though. He wild. I don't know what he be on. Now they're going to hear that shit. It's just different. You be throwing power jabs. <laughs> you going to put Booker T to shame. Oh, man. Yo, Roley better get it together, man. Y'all better tighten up, man. Y'all better tighten up. Coach Bullet, y'all better tighten up, bro. Y'all better tighten up. Undercard boxing. What's good, bro? Appreciate you pulling back up. DP Rocker, my bro. What's good with it? Appreciate you pulling back up as well. Salute to you, bro. Appreciate y'all rules pulling up, man. You know what I mean? I'm back at it again for the second time. Y'all know how we do. Just always trying to have a good boxing conversation with the fam, and we got to grind, y'all. So, um, like I was saying, um, yeah, he, Oscar De La Hoya mentioned, he tweeted something. What did he do? Did he tweet it? Let me see. And Carlos Adam is called Cap on it, man. Carlos Adam is called BS. He think he think Oscar is BSing. There you go, cause um, take this off. Oscar said, "Let's make Jaime McGee versus Twin Charlo. Let's go. Hit me up. This guy, yo, mind you, mind you, Charlo. Not only is Charlo hurt, Charlo is hurt, but now he's supposed to fight the winner in Tim Zoo and Tony Harrison. So what the hell? And on top of that, ain't Jaime McGee at 160? What is he talking about? What is Oscar Haley? De La Hoya on, yo. I'm telling you, yo. I'm telling you, bro. Bro has gotten his, uh, he must have been dipping, dipping again, man. Dabbling. I don't know what the hell he's talking about, bro. And look what Carlos Adam is called. He called Cap, and He said, Munguia kept avoiding me all the time. And now you are looking for what is not possible. Do you want Jamel to go up and abandon his four, I guess he was saying, titles to fight with your protege? So that's what I'm saying. So Jamel Charlo. It's supposed to drop his titles and go up there and fight Jaime Munguia. For what? Well, why the hell would he do that? It's again, Oscar De La Hoya got to stop playing with people, bro. We paying attention, man. Stop getting drunk and tweeting, bro. Stop getting drunk. Whatever it is you be doing, stop getting faded and tweeting. Stop being under the influence and being on Twitter, bro. It don't work well, bro. You talking about two fighters? Did you did you tag the wrong Charlo, bro? He's not at 60. That's the one at 54. Twin Charlo is Jamel, bro. He, he's at 54. This guy is goofy, man. He goofy. He really like playing with people and wasting the fans' time. You lucky you, Ryan just made this fight. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't you. Word got back. 
Alan, so amazing salute, fam. Appreciate you pulling up. Benavidez is a culturally Mexican, even if he's half. I'm like, well, why? <laughs> so he speaks Spanish. He's probably only been to Mexico once. Take his family to Cancun on vacation. <laughs> salute is so amazing, bro. How you feeling, man? How you feeling, bro? Among needs to fight Jamel. I mean, Jamal, right, right. That's what I'm saying. Did he tag, you know what I'm saying, Will? Did he tag the wrong Charlo twin, bro? Because you, you, you tagged Jamel is definitely at 54. Who's the face of boxing at? Clinello or Duck Nello? Clinello is, uh, he rehabbing to come back and fight John Ryder. <laughs> Coming back to fight John Ryder, bro. As people expected, the guy is, is the face of boxing is coming back to fight John Ryder, y'all. But yeah, Carlos Adam is called um nonsense. He called BS on this. He don't, he don't believe him. He don't believe him. And, and again, he just this is how quick you could just call somebody bluff. Look what he said. He's saying he's basically saying, so the same guy that was constantly avoiding me, now you wanna you want you know, Jamel Charlo to basically abandon his four titles and come up and fight your protege, a guy that been ducking me. You trying to make the impossible. Again, it, it's like playing with the time. It's an ins playing with people. And it's like a waste of time. And it's an insult to the boxing fans. You're not making this fight. Don't get carried away. Make sure you just make sure Ryan get, get in the ring and make it to the ring April 22nd. That's what you need to focus on. Don't get carried away and start calling for fights that you know you're not going to make. You know what I'm saying? At least you would have said Jamal Charlo would have made more sense, bro. He's the one at 160. Dude is tripping. Jaime McGee need to be at 68 because he out here passing out at weigh-ins. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, has need to take his ass up a notch. He need to go up a weight class, and he need to fight somebody. Dude really don't want to fight nobody. They're going to keep padding his record just like they did on um, just like they did Zordo, and he gonna he gonna get he gonna meet his maker and get his ass beat. You know what I'm saying, and that that's truly what I feel. You know what I mean? He, his lack of tests and 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 you know him keep fighting these winnable fights is the reason why he gonna suffer. You know what I'm saying? I think his fall from grace is gonna be like Zordo. Now you got Zordo fighting. Um, uh, and no disrespect to Gabriel Rosado, but he's fighting Rosado now. You give you went from fighting Bevel to Rosado. No slight to him. I'm just saying, look how far your far from grace was because you was unwilling to challenge yourself accordingly throughout your career. And when you got put in there with a real dog, you didn't know what to do. You was like a deer caught in the headlights. It wasn't even close. Like he'd be he completely outclassed the hell out of Zordo. He just beat him every round to me. Embarrassed the dude. You know what I'm saying? So again, now you back fighting Gabriel Zotto and you know Hyman McGee is gonna suffer the same fate because y'all both was 40 some odd wins in before y'all lost. And I think the same thing going to be for him. If he was to get put in there with Charlo, whether it's at 160, he'd get his ass beat. He ain't picking him to beat no Jamel Charlo. He ain't that guy, man. Jaime McGee is all offense. He's not defensively sound or responsible on defense at all to me. You know what I'm saying? He was getting touched up by, uh, what was the dude named? Jimmy Kelly or whatever his name, Johnny Kelly. I don't know what his name was, but whatever his name was, he was touching him up, man. Well, with Maul, you get what I'm saying? Make the make make it with Maul, cause uh, other than that, you just talking, bro. Oh, the Oscar, a perfect match. One doesn't want his fighters to fight the best, and the other won't fight the best. Right? Well, right. All facts, perfect for each other, bro. Perfecto, <laughs> muy perfecto. You know what I'm saying they perfect for each other. And did y'all? Uh, in other news too, yo. You know what I'm saying? Before we get out of, did y'all see? Um. I see Regis, Regis get the key to the city of New Orleans, man. That's dope. That was dope, man. That was dope. I just wanted to highlight that, man. That was dope, man. Hard work, man. It's his city represent, you know what I mean? It's city right. He represents the city to the fullest, man. And it, it's it's dope to see him get his flowers. He got the key to this to the city. Regis got the key to the city. They rocking with Regis, man. That's good. That's good money, man. I like to see that. But what I like to see more, though, I ain't going to lie, is him and Matias fight. So like I said, if I'm fortunate enough to be able to work something out and I can get Regis on here, I'm damn sure going to do it. Because I would love to know what his thoughts is, what he want next, who he want next. You know what I mean? What's his thoughts on Matias? Like, you know, I just want to know some things, you know? We got to know some things, you know? 
And um, salute to Bill and Dev as always, man. But him and, when when he get to 140, I'm damn sure gonna be checking for him and Hitchens to fight. I swear I am. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna remember this back and forth between these two kings, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna want to see them fight. You know what I mean? Made the best man win. I tell you what, that's gonna be a hell of a chess match. Richardson Hitchens is a damn good fighter. I think he's gonna continue to prove it. If you don't believe me, man, just watch him. Just pay 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 attention to him, man. He one of them ones, I think, man. You know what I'm saying? Salute to my bro, the A1. Appreciate you, A1. You know what I'm saying? Salute to my bro, Fate, man. So, man, Fate, what's the conclusion on this one? I didn't see that. Can you give me the footage of Regis getting the key to the city? All right, bet. I'm going to, um, uh, you know what? I think I sent to his right on his Instagram, too, Ash. I got you. But, yeah, I think that's good. It's something to highlight because it's about giving dudes they just do. And I think that's something good to highlight getting a key to the city, seeing him get it. I think it was dope, man. That that Regis people rock with him like that. That the his city standing tall for him like that. Regis. The Rugaru. You want to see it? Just Matisse should be at the top of Regis list, yeah. Because of the unification, right? And at the end of the day, that's what he want, right? And still TV, bro. They appreciate you pulling back up for the second time. Much love, man. Dave got a lot of smoke already in motion at 140. Got Antoine waiting right. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's that's in there. Yeah, Jim Kelly. Right, right, uh, Kurt. Yeah, the dude was getting touched up by Jim Kelly, too. You know what I'm saying? Jim Kelly was laying his hands all over him. Laying hands on him. Man, what is it? The root, 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 girl. I need to make an intro for my lives. I'm gonna put that in there. Oh, the um, the uh, with Regis. I got you. I got you, Ash. I will salute to the queen. How you feeling? I got you, Ash. Inclusion. Devin get his feelings hurt. Hitchens wants smoke anyway versus phone. Can't wait for it. Yeah, as it stands, the date that I'm hearing y'all is May 23rd on that one, right? Oscar always talks more than he do. <laughs> Ah oh, man, kid, get his moment and tank ready, man. Matias coming, Regis ready, and EJ is better. Salute to the Queen Shaw. How you feel, man? I appreciate all y'all for pulling up, hanging in here, always is having another dope conversation with the family, another dope build in the books. And like I said, man, the pressure is gonna be applied. We're gonna keep growing, we're gonna keep grinding. Y'all know the y'all know how I give it up, man. I got a lot more work to do, a lot more things that, that I'm working on. Some stuff I need to put out still good. Been here making dinner. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Cool boy about that life. Facts. He making things happen, Rick. Making things happen for real, man. And that, that's what it's all about. So, again, for the people that try to call him a duck, don't look like a duck to me. The man is holding things down and he, he moving accordingly. And that's how you want it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you want it. He make, and it's crazy that he was calling this back in 2020. And uh, told his trainer that he wanted to go to Japan. The trainer was against it. He said, "Nah, we going to Japan. Trust me, man." And then he said, "It's going to do. It's going to be a big fight." And now look, he's like he manifested it. So I think that's dope. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Yeah, salute to the queen. Yeah, I gotta get me some dinner myself. I gotta get me some dinner. Just had to type quick for that one. I appreciate you, Faye. It was all good. It was all good. I wasn't rushing you, man. I appreciate it. I mean, I'm be here for like another four minutes or so, man. Two and a half hour mark, man. You get to the even the, the two and a half hour mark. But yeah, Regis did get the key to the city of New Orleans, which was dope to see him receive that. Um, it's dope to see people get their flowers, man. Especially in a sport like boxing. I mean, it's dope, dope. Salute to Regis, man. I hope we get the him and that Matias fight very soon, though, because like I said, I just want to see it. Jared Hurd, Swift Jared Hurd making making his comeback on Saturday. Swift Jared Hurd, okay. Salute to Swift Jared Hurd, y'all, man. I'm always rooting for a good comeback story, man. You know what I'm saying? People feel like he finished. Come back and prove him wrong, Jared. You know what I mean? Just don't come back blocking punches with your face. You know what I mean? You cut that hair, I believe. Just don't come back punching. I mean, uh, catching punches with your face and you be all right. You know what I'm saying? Come back in shape. Hope he mentally focused. You know what I mean? Physically in the best shape of his life. And let's see, man, because he ain't like he old as hell. 
You know what I'm saying? Let's see what Jared Heard got left in him, man. He can see reason Matias dog it out. Me too, man. Because the more re the more Matias talk, the more I want to see it. Because I know he's serious. You know what I'm saying? He just earned it. Glad he getting the recognition he deserved after years of begging for opportunities. Right. Now, now they should be pouring in. So Regis, remember you wanted all this smoke. Now that smoke is coming, Mr. Two-time champion. But he's gonna handle business because he a real one, man. You know what I mean? You're a real one. Salute to everybody in the building, man. Y'all make sure y'all punch that like button for you, bro. Gotta salute everybody that uh supports the channel that holds me down. Everybody in the super chat. Much love to y'all, man. We got work to do. You know what I'm saying? And, and we're gonna keep getting it done, man. I wanna actually see what Jared Heard gonna look like in his return fight. I do. I do. I wanna see what he's gonna look like. Halloween Heard not gonna be that anymore. <laughs> I just call him <laughs> Halloween Heard. <laughs> Yo, man, she always keep a name, yo. Halloween hers gets to do it. Her not pumpkin head anymore. LOL. Yeah, right. He done did something. He still ain't got some type of braids. I think he got rid of that gold blonde stuff. You know what I'm saying? But let's see what he do, man. Let's see how he turned out. Hopefully, he made some improvements, man, and, and worked on some things, man. Let's see, Richard, Richard, Richardson Hitchens. Her might need to hang him out and take too much damage, even when he wins and pulling for her. Yeah, me too, shower. Now, I feel you, Ansel. He definitely got to change that up, though. He can't afford to take that many, that much punishment like that. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> get back to making defense a priority and not being tough. You know what I mean? It's all about being smart. And he wanted, I, I'm, my guess is he would want to see some longevity in the sport. You know what I'm saying? Some longevity in the sport. And that's how you see longevity in the sport. You get what I'm saying? You uh, the less punishments you take, the longer you last. Floyd showed everybody. He showed everybody. He told everybody. You know what I'm saying? He told you and he showed you. Man, can't post on Insta to the third. Yeah, they crazy off of the uh, Jake, Jake, Jake Paul situation. Oh, the third. You mean the, the tomorrow? That's tomorrow. They timed me out like two days ago. Oh, yeah, that's tomorrow. Yeah, that was crazy. That's crazy, fate. Cool boy knows how to do what it takes. That's that's wild that they do that. Mm -hmm. Damn, they work. Cool boy knows how to do what it takes. Right, Kurt. He going to get the job done, man. So, again, salute to Cool Boy. I hope that's the official date, May 23rd. Salute to him and Monster NUA for being men about it, not being divas. And getting that business squared away. Salute to uh, Cool Boy for manifesting this thing like three years in advance. You know what I'm saying? Which is dope. And being a man, a man of his word and being willing to stand on business. You know what I'm saying? I think Oscar De La Hoya is doing a bit of clout chasing and trying to generate buzz to his fighter and Jaime McGee because I think he knows people are getting a little, a little tired of a. Uh, you know the same old song and dance with Jaime McGee. So I think that that the twin Charlo idea or the mention of that fight is an attempt to generate some buzz or some interest to Jaime McGee if you can make people talk about him a little bit. And that's just what it is. He's gonna get hurt, I think, when he actually steps it up in competition because he's not challenging himself accordingly. And when you do that, you 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 subject yourself to get potentially getting your ass beat in the long run. So. You know what I mean? That you trying to take down. His trash talking goes wrong. Jay Paul, yeah, it's right. It's crazy. Probably was. Fanboys, people reporting it and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Cause I, sometimes it be the zone's tricky, too, though, man. The zone is tricky. But, man, I keep y'all posted on how 140 continues to shape out. Like I said, I'm going to continue to shine the light on that division. You know what I mean? As well as the rest of boxing, salute the kid Austin on his opportunity to be able to fight on a pay-per-view card and Tank Davis undercard. Let's see who else they put on that undercard as well and how it shape out. You know what I mean? Tank, as you can see, he's getting work with those Barrientes brothers that, you know, emulate some of the things that Ryan Garcia does well in the ring. And I think not only is he training hard and focused, but he's training smart. And he's not taking this situation or this fight for granted. He's not taking Ryan lightly. He's putting in the right work. Yeah, focus tank is a dangerous tank, and he will be that April 22nd. You know what I mean? Salute to Richardson Hitchens for wanting to smoke. 
But when Dev Haney get up there, you got more than enough smoke for you. Charlo, hell up. Get back at it. Defend your titles and keep being great. Regis Progress, salute to him for getting the key to the city of New Orleans. He's well-deserved. He's a true champion, so he deserved it. And I hope May 23rd we see Monster NUA and Cool Boy in Japan because I will be up early as hell calling it if that's what I got to do. So with that, child, we're going to get up out of here. Much love to everybody pulling back up for this second cook. And you know your boys on the grind. Y'all got y'all one, so just know I'm going to continue to put this work in, man, and the grind don't stop. You know what I mean? We here every day. You know what I mean? Sometimes more than once. You did. Charlie, big Charlie. I get back on it, right? Holding them down. You know what I'm saying? Get what I'm saying? So salute to everybody, man. Much love to all y'all, man. Peace to Will, man. Peace to the clean shower. Much love to all y'all pulling up. Y'all punch the like button on the way out. Make sure y'all enjoy the rest of y'all night. And we're going to get up out of here, y'all. Peace. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Salute to everybody in the building, man. And peace to the clean shower, feet. Will and the rest of the fan, we out, y'all. Peace.